Hi everybody, it's Christine Bertram and I am coming to you live from the Hive on Thursday, January 5th. Wow, it's the first Thursday night live that we're having for the new year. Uh, we're going to be doing the Kellogg Launch Party Meets Fun Folds class with you guys tonight. It is going to be a good one. <laughs> so I highly encourage watching this video to learn how to do some awesome fun folds, you guys. I am a few minutes tardy. <laughs> Honestly, I have to say that it, snuck, it didn't sneak up on me, but time always goes faster than what you think. Oh man, it was a busy day in the hive here again. Yesterday was a busy day. Today is a busy day. We're starting our preparations for the winter creative escape, which is next week. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And uh, my mom was here today. She's still here, actually, uh, helping me kit up stuff. And uh, Chris Dudranke was here, Diane Bogenhagen, Judy Immel, Annette Rollin. We were working on one of the attendance gifts for everybody who is participating, which is 96 calendar cards. And actually, here's a sample of it right here. Thought I'd share it with you guys. So, um, I'm going to flip down and show it to you close up. So we got them all done today, except for we didn't tear this off. We're going to let the whoever gets it to tear it off. Um, and whoever gets it also can put their own one of the new embellishments in the middle when they get their goodie bag. And then I've got the back here looking like this. Anna Rebidu helped me do all the stamping. Chris helped me with the design. It was a team effort. A lot of hands touched this card many, many times. So yeah, so I'm excited to say we got that attendance gift done. Yay. Uh, there's three other attendance gifts, and Chris dudorenki has been helping me with them. Uh, I think she's got two of them finished, and then the other attendance gift is homemade cookies. Um, my mom and I are going to be making cookies for everybody. Um, I think the consensus was to do spritz cookies, so yay! <laughs> they are going to be in the shape of snowflakes, and what color is mom? Purple, blue, and pink. Yep, so you guys are going to get some colored snowflake spritz cookies. So... Lots of stuff happening, um, and then on top of it, the kidding up. Uh, when we get done with class, if somebody reminds me, I'll take the camera off, and we'll walk around and show you guys what we've been kidding up. Um, it's been a blur since yesterday. <laughs> well, every day seems like a blur since Christmas. Um, the escape is 96 people, is what I'm planning for. We have five spots left, so 91 are already signed up but we're kidding up cards for 96 and there are nine cards for make and takes. So that is, let's just say 900 for easy purposes. And then the calendar card makes another hundred. So a thousand cards, <laughs> kid it up. And then mom and I kid it up. Let's just stamp and the monthly class in the mix of all that between yesterday and today. We have two left to kit tomorrow for the um, escape. So Woo, you guys. Huh? So it's like right until the last minute. <laughs> so we have a whole bunch of you guys that are joining us already. So hi, Cindy Runtree. Hi, Mary Hartman from New Jersey. Hi, Mary Lemke, one of my newbies today. I'll talk about that in a second. Hi, Betty Pyle and Jennifer Jones. Hey, Francis Rodriguez. I'm good to see you as well. I see you through the phone. I know I do. <laughs> oh, Mary Lemke's digging herself out of a hole, you guys. 17 inches of snow. That is crazy. Sandy Wicklander and I had a conversation already this morning, and we both bamboozled each other. <laughs> For a minute, I thought it was Wednesday, and I told her we didn't have class tonight. And then when I called her, then she said, it is Wednesday, and we don't have class. And then it was a whole hot confusion. But we figured it out that we have class tonight. <laughs> so that was good. Um, so hi, Sandy Wicklander. Hi, Angela Knutson. Hi, Linda Hall. And there's Susie Stocks and Linda Hunt. Um, you guys, yeah, I was about six minutes tardy. I haven't been that tardy in a long time. <laughs> Teacher was tardy. <laughs> Hi, Ethel King from New Jersey. Hi, Jean Terwilliger, another newbie on the team. Yay. Um, oh, thanks for putting in there. So Jean messaged me about two minutes before six, and I said I was going to be a couple minutes late. So thanks for putting that in there, Jean. I appreciate that. Oh, Mary Hartman, thank you for the reminder, everybody. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up uh, so that we can make sure we like it. So in case you're wondering how to do that, all you have to do is go into your phone and there's a little thumbs up and there we go. I'm number 15 and then you can always go right back into the live chat. So awesome for that reminder. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Who else do we have? Uh, I'm going to go back. You guys, there's so many of you already rocking and rolling in here. I love it. Oh man. So we have here. Hi, Susan Bellamy. And we have Bobby McPherson. You didn't miss it. Nope. You're all good to go. Hi, Sherry Stewart. 
uh, and Linda Kester. Hi, Mary Ellen Ryan. And there's Judy Immel. Long time no see Judy. So Judy probably, I went in to get a bite to eat, which was actually lunchtime at like five o'clock. <laughs> it was lunch. And uh, Judy Immel uh, left to go work on other things, I'm sure. I'm glad that you're home. Oh, yes, Bobby, this is your first live in a while. Woohoo! Thank you for the birthday card. I think I have it here on a pile, or I went over it the other day, I think. Um, hi, Doris Munson and Susan Warmly from Illinois. Yay! Hi, Patricia Thomas from Arizona and Lisa Spacek. Wow, you guys, so many of you already in here. Look at me being tardy and you guys all being punctual. Hi, Laura Sullivan and Mary Carls from Jericho. Mom, you want to say hi to Mary? She said, hey, Mary. <laughs> Hi, Lynn Beasley. And Linda Hall's here. Yes. Okay. Hi, Carmen Melendez. Melody Miller. Randy Schultz. Wow, you guys. Tammy Steckling. You guys, we have a really big class tonight. I'm just going to put it out there already. Hi, Sharon Land. Um, a lot of work kidding cards. Oh, yes, it sure is. Um, and mom was missing an egg at the end. Um, but we found it in case Diana, because um, Diane and Chris were helping. Like, we found them the missing blue egg. Yay. <laughs> Hi, Judy Sharp. Hi, Ann Bellinger. Hi, Marcy Hessen and Debbie Buzzy at Work Schultz. Um, there's Sherry Martin, another newbie on the team, Debbie Schultz. Yay. Okay. All right. So we have four newbies on the team, you guys. I'm so excited to announce that Mary Lemke, Debbie Schultz, Sherry Martin, and Jean Terwilliger all took the polar plunge. No, it's not the polar plunge, but the, the <laughs> Be Heavy Stamper plunge. And they are all Be Heavy Stampers. So yay, congratulations. It's a great time right now. Celebration just started. Hi, Deb Norman. Celebration just started today. You guys probably, if you get emails from me, you saw I sent an email. I had it scheduled for first thing this morning so that you'd see it bright-eyed and early, bushy-tailed when you get up in the morning. Uh, so the celebration catalog is launched. The mini catalog is launched. I've got all my orders in for um, the new year. And with celebration, it's a great time to sign up because you get $175 worth of product for $99.00. Or if you want the blue boho blue machine or the mini white embossing machine or like the stamp and cotton emboss machine, I believe it was, oh, I can show you guys now because we can open the catalog. I wonder if I have it right here. We can open the catalog. So we're technically against compliance not to, we can't open up the catalog before the catalog launches. But now that the catalog launched, um, this is what it looks like. And in the very last page here, it talks about joining. And so you get the little baby blue machine and it's, um, you can get either the white or the blue one, and it's $175 worth of product plus the machine for $129. So if you don't want the machine, it's $175 worth of product for $99. So that difference is like $30. Bucks. So for, they're giving you the machine at half off plus giving you $75. So a lot of newbies took advantage of joining. It is a great time to join. Uh, so the launch party that we do tonight, it's going to feature, we're going to make these. We're making four cards tonight, but I have multiples of them because you might get one color versus the other color. But all the cards that we're going to be making tonight, you guys feature new celebration product, which is awesome. So we're celebrating the, the launch of this new, amazing, purplicious covered catalog. Hi, Carol Alanis. Look at all those purple hearts. I love it. Um, <laughs> I love me my purple, right? So we can show you the inside of this now. It's awesome. Beforehand, I couldn't share it with you guys. So if, if you don't have a demonstrator that you currently work with and you're looking for somebody, I would love to earn your loyalty and uh, be your Stampin' Up Lady <laughs> or <laughs> whatever you want to call me. Uh, Oh, Laura Sullivan, you haven't got a set of catalogs from Stampin' Up. So what you should do, Laura, so if you're a Stampin' Up demonstrator, discount shopper, or hobbyist, however you call yourself, you're with Stampin' Up, Stampin' Up sent catalogs out in bulk um, sometime in December. By now, if you haven't gotten them, I would call Laura. So call Stampin' Up, Laura, and they should send you out a new set of catalogs. So that's crazy that you haven't gotten them. But you know what, you guys? The mail has been horrible, crazy for the last few like probably since the beginning of December. So it's very possible that they got stuck or they got sent back. But uh, Laura, definitely call Stampin' Up. They're actually open right now yet. Um, it's 5.15 that time, their time. So you could even call them right now and get that already set up. Hi, Becky Rohr. Hi, Mary Schreiber. So awesome time, you guys. Uh, the other thing too, ooh, I don't even have my celebration board up. <laughs> oh, I had my launch party last night in person, you guys, and I didn't even bring out the celebration board, which I always do. 
Uh, but you've called and I would call again and tell them that it's time that they send you one. It's nicely, right? You always be nice as sweet as honey, right? And when you call Stampin' Up! because they're always so nice with you, but I would call them back and tell them that you would really like it sent out um, because it still hasn't arrived. So something's going on with that. Uh, so celebration um, for every $50 you spend either, um, you know, through yourself as a demonstrator or through a different demonstrator, when you spend $50, you get a celebration item. And if you do $100, they have some select $100 items as well. And what I do is I have a board that has 25 squares on it. And once you spend 50 with me personally, um, Lynn Beasley received two sets of catalogs. I wonder if I sent you two sets, Lynn, because I tried to send Debbie Schultz two, and I tried to send Mary Lumkey two. Um, and they caught me before I sent the second ones out because they got my shipping email and we figured it out. So it's possible that um, I'm in the country. Yes. So hi, Corinne Bouvia. Bye, mom. Hi, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> um, it's very possible, Lynn, that I might have sent you too. Um, I sent out catalogs really early in December and then I forgot. I wrote good notes as good as I could, but then I tried to send people them again when ink, paper, scissors went out the third week of December. And so that's very possible that I did that. Um, so we got the celebration board and I already have a whole bunch of names that are gonna go on the board. I had my launch party class last night and I had a few people get numbers. So when you place an online order with me, you don't have to pick a number. I will randomly pick a number that's left on the board. And then once the board is full, I do a drawing for a $25 gift certificate. And so last celebration, which was July and August of last year, there were I think 10 boards that we filled up. So it was amazing. Hi, Susan Ray Hend Hendricks. So, and she's excited about the new catalog. Yay, I'm so excited too. Uh, I feel like I've been working in this catalog for a month and a half already because I got my catalog back at OnStage, which was the second week of November, like in November 11th and 12th. So it has been a month and a half and we've made so many cards already since, uh, since so I feel like I'm the, the catalog is not new to me anymore. It's like old news, but it's like still exciting, right? Because everybody else gets to experience it now. So, um, so yeah. Um, so if you don't get emails from me, you probably wouldn't have gotten that email I sent this morning. So you can always go to my website and sign up to get an email from me or to get emails from me. And then you'll get in on the stuff when I announce it and share it with you guys. So just heads up on that. Uh, but back to, I'm not going to ruin the surprise, but I like to like share things. So now that Mary and Sherry and Jean and um, Debbie are on the team, you guys, I have little gifts I'm going to be sending to you. I have these little magnets made up that um, say to love what we do and share what we love as we help others enjoy creativity and worthwhile accomplishments and this we make a difference and this is a magnet for your fridge or a magnet for anything that it can stick to like a filing cabinet and so Tyler and I made these up many oh, it was probably three years ago in 2019 we went to his where he works and they helped us in like laser etch on here um, the images to put the words and then Taylor and I Tyler and I put the nails in here. So there's a little magnet coming your way, girls. And then I've got my Be Heavy Stampers magnet, which I'm going to send off in the mail with a little welcome card. So yay, I have that for you guys. Anybody who joins my team, that's what I have for you when you first get started. Um, okay, so the other thing too, so that's the catalogs. We'll leave this out so that we can go over anything that we do for going over for class. I'll leave that right here. Um, you guys, I have seven of these left. I emailed yesterday about the DSP sampler. DSP means designer series paper and I emailed about it yesterday and three more went right after I sent the email so I'm down to seven uh, so in case you guys are wondering what the sampler is all about you get a bag that looks like this all right and it's full of all the little squares and all the little color swatches and the white paper is printed actually I get that done at where Tyler works as well and so you guys would then glue on your pieces and it looks like this when you're done it's a sampling of all of the paper so if you're doing a class like I do classes or if you are an avid customer and love to see how things coordinate and if you're looking for a certain paper you have the colors that coordinate uh -huh. who is there it's Jody hi Jody Jody and Cole hi Jody and Cole um bringing back the stuff okay to keep here if you're all good with that yep um, the house is unlocked um I'm, I'm doing my live FYI <laughs> Now? Yes, I'm live right now. Oh shoot! It's okay, <laughs> but you can drop everything off. <laughs> okay, I'll 
I'll tell you later. Okay, bye, Jody. Bye. <laughs> bye. Sorry about that, guys. That was my neighbor. <laughs> Like a good neighbor, Jody is there when you need her. And when Jody needs help, you help her too. So she's bringing back tables and chairs. She hosted Christmas for her family and didn't have enough tables and chairs. So she borrowed them from me. <laughs> so her and her son were bringing them back. But there you go. So <laughs> got her by surprise. All right. And I'm like, I was talking to myself or what's going on, right? So you guys, this is the DSP sampler. So like we're going to be working tonight with the f favorite flowers. So you guys can see that pic that paper is one of my favorites. The dainty flowers is going to what we're going to work with tonight. We're working with the dandy designs tonight that looks like that. And we're working uh, with Dan the farm day at the farm. So the four designer papers that were featured in the uh, the um, celebration catalog is what we're doing for class tonight. So this is a great little tool to have. Uh, for those of you who got this from me, some of you have them mailed. They're already mailed out. Now, if you're doing the Winter Creative Escape with me, they are, hi, Gwen Petrashek. They are in a box right there that says Stampin' Up. There is a box there that has maybe 15 of them in it for those people that are also doing the escape. Because what happens is when you do the escape with me, uh, you don't have to pay postage for this bad boy. You can... Um, you can save on shipping, which is 10 bucks, and just pay the, it's $26 for the cash check price um, or the non-fee associated price. So you save on shipping and um, you'll just get it in your box then. So, but those that aren't part of the escape, I've already mailed them out. I have not photographed this yet. I need to photograph it. And then Kelly will make a little PDF of it so that you guys can see, like if you want mine, like to use mine as a sample of how to glue your squares, uh, you'll use my tutorial. But again, you guys, for those of you who got it already, I, I haven't even photographed this. I need to photograph it, get it to Kelly so that she can make that for me. So um, the other thing people ask about the product shares, where I'm at with product shares. So I've been taking orders for product shares. Uh, anybody who ordered a product share as of this morning, um, I have all your stuff ordered for you. And if you want to wait to see what the product share is all about, I haven't made it yet, right? Like I've put together what's all going to be in it. And that's all in my event for January 4th. So today, oh wait, yesterday was the, yep, yeah, yesterday. Yesterday was the 4th. So if you go to my calendar of events for January 4th, you can see all what's included in it. How many six by six pieces, how many embellishments, how many ribbons, and you can get one of them or you can get all three options. But, um, I, once I have the first share made, like of each a la carte option, I'll do, when I have a live next, I'll show everybody what's in it. So then you can get in on the second or third wave of me ordering more products to get them. So, all right. So I don't, I haven't physically shown the current product share, but on a video for the January showcase, I shared a past product share just to give you an idea. So, Oh, Susan just finished putting hers together. Wonderful. Judy Immel has hers together as well. I was very happy that she reported that all pieces were intact in hers. And so that always makes me feel good when the first person puts it together and says, yep, nothing was missing. Nothing will help. I'll never forget the trimming the tree from a couple summers ago. And I think I missed a piece of paper. I don't know how, but a piece of paper was missed from like eight of them. It wasn't in intersorted. Hi, Janie Parker. So um, Linda Hall, the sampler is $26 and $10 for shipping because it goes goes in for shipping it goes in one of these priority bubble mailers so and I do keep them literally under my desk <laughs> so <laughs> I could easily show you so those are ten dollars to send out so hi Donna Grushke. Um so they are twenty six dollars ten dollars for shipping I have seven left when they're gone they are gone I made 48 of them kept one for myself and the other 47 will be sold and again I've so 40 of them are already sold so that's awesome yay <laughs> all right um, let's do some happy mail, you guys. You can see I have a little pile here of happy mail. I love to go through that as I can so that um, it doesn't build up. This is from Bonnie Lesbrance, and this awesome, beautiful card is bee inspired as well. So look at this. Little, the little bee's got a diamond necklace out of black diamonds. I love it. And so this hangs up as a little bee ornament. Very cool. And so that will be buzzing around in the hive. Look at this tic-tac-toe card she made me. It's got the bee, different bees here and the bee trinket. A little celebrate every moment. And it says, happy birthday. Have a great day. Wishing you the best on your ongoing New Year's. So it's very pretty, Bonnie. I love it. Oh, she even made it purple. It's, it's, but it's purple. I love it. <laughs> so thank you, Bonnie. All right. So this one comes to me from, 
Chris Dudranke, I think, right? No, yes, Chris, yeah. I was like, I thought that was her handwriting. She asked me if I got her birthday card, and I did, and it was Purplelicious. The Expressions in Ink is here. Oh, I'll take one in your box, Linda Hall. Oh, okay, cool. So this one is from Chris Dudarenki. She's got some of that gorgeous grape ribbon that was part of that hydrangea suite. That split card texture, she used the galvanized paper back there. You guys can see it's very shiny. And then may your life be filled with wonderful memories, beautiful dreams, and happiness all year through. Happy birthday. So thank you for that. Double matted on the inside as well. And then the pastel dots are from that hydrangea suite as well. So Linda Hall, we will add a DSP sampler. If you want to send a check for uh, 26, that would be awesome. I'll watch for it and let you know when it comes. And out for dinner, gonna have to catch you later. Okay, Penny Powell, that sounds good. Oh, and then Doris, I see. So you guys, I will be honest with you. Sometimes um, comments come through so fast that I don't always see them. But if I don't um, acknowledge them in a live, like right now, like Doris, I got you written down here. Um, make sure you always follow up with an email. If you need something or if you're wanting to sign up for something, it's always best practice to email me, communicate with me with a text or I, I wouldn't say call. I have a hard time getting through all my voice messages. So texting, Facebook messaging, emailing is great. Um, and again, the comments come through here sometimes so fast that I don't even see them all. So um, don't be afraid to comment something again if you want me to see it while I'm live <laughs> or if you have a question about what we're doing. So, all right. So that's this one's from Cindy Bowie. You guys, you might recognize this. This is the kit that was called Whimsical Christmas, I think. And, uh, yep, from Cindy Bowie. And it's got the little girl with the elf putting on the ornament on the tree. And then O'Donna said that her happy mail came Tuesday. And you received the colors she wanted. Good, 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 good. This one is from Anna Rebidou, who's also on my team. Wishing you the best day ever. Okay, so she had to get that so perfect. Look how skinny that sentiment is and that little skinny dye and how perfect that is on there. And you guys, she put some purple cone flowers on here for me. Hope your B day is extra special. May all your wishes come true. And you guys got to see she put a little B on the inside with a purple flower on the bottom. So pretty. Oh, thanks, Donna, or L Donna, Linda, for texting as well. I appreciate it. This one is from Miss Carol Alanis. Look at this, you guys. She used some of that snowflake vellum. Look at that holographic iridescentness <laughs> going on with this. That, that paper was all about the, the shiny, shiny. Um, some of the in color uh, Starry Night Ribbon, Winter Wishes. And what Carol does for me is she always does a double mat here. She does. She one does one loose and then she has one glued in and it matches and it's so awesome. Thank you for the well wishes here, Carol. I really appreciate it. I love it, love it. And that was actually also a customer swap card for the month of December from the Cards by Christine customer swap group. Thanks for all the wonderful things you do. This is from Sarah Simon, you guys. Sarah Simon's up in Appleton. She's a sideline of mine. And um, she did, look at this pretty card. Oh, it's the Regency Park suite of products, the Milky Dots. Uh, pretty little bow here. And then um, thank you so much for all your efforts and the amazing, and amazing organizing the very best swaps. So Sarah is um, coming to the Winter Creative Escape and she um, is also part of the Dazzling Demonstrators. And so uh, she sent this beautiful card with her swap cards. I love it. Thank you, Sarah. This one comes to me from Kathy Jackson from Iola, Wisconsin. Look at this pretty card. She's got blacks and whites with a church. That's from the mini, the, the past Mount Holly mini catalog. She used some of that puff paint down here. Silent Night, Holy Night. She put a little shimmery paper here. And then um, may God's hope and love shine on you this season. And she wrote a little bit about what she did here too, you guys. She said... Um, she didn't sign it so I could reuse it. She stamped the front of the cards using Stampin' Up! Peace to You stamp using Versamark and heat embossed it with silver Stampin' Up! embossing paste powder. The sentiments from the stamp set, she stamped the sentiments from the stamp set using black memento ink and heat embossed those sentiments using Stampin' Up! clear embossing powder. Oh, very cool. Okay. Um, she added copper foil to make the cross on the front of the card and the star on the inside. Right there, she used copper foil. There's a little star at the top there. Hi, Marsha Long from Texas, and there's a little copper foil there. Um, and then the snow on the front of the card was from the Snowfall Accent Puff Paint. 
It's made with lots of love, hugs, and sunshine. She had her surgical scrubs on and operated for a few hours designing this special card for me. I hope you love it. Yes, you guys, we do tease that we are card surgeons and we are card doctors. And like when you need something, you say scalpel. <laughs> like, and then somebody hands you a ruler or somebody hands you a scissors or something and then you're good to go. So very awesome, Kathy. Thanks for this beautiful card. Um, so you guys, you know when you send me cards, I do not throw them away. I will repurpose them. And so when you don't sign them, I'm able to also send them on to somebody else. And when you do sign and write the inside, I do repurpose them and put them into a usable card again. Because I guess you guys put so much time and energy into making cards that to put them in the garbage or toss them or, you know, you can't put them all on display, right? But just to give a card another life is so important to me. I just, it, may, it breaks my heart to put any card in the garbage, you know, after you're done. So I always repurpose. So if you sign it in the inside, what I do is I put a little, um, a lay over the top and then um, repurpose it, right? So that it gives that card an, like another life. So how many card uh, lives can a card get? So this one, you guys came from my Alpine Kelly Atchison and I was in the top 10 for the month of December. Oh, I just, it's, I got a purple card. I love it. And it's that um, Favored Flowers designer series paper and that new cane weave embossing folder. It's so pretty. I love it. There's a few little gems on here and a celebrate you. So very pretty. And then this one comes to me from Elaine Rebeck in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. So this is the Barney set. I don't remember the name, but it was the dinosaur set from a couple years ago. She's got the little balloon punch. And when you open it up, it's got like a gatefold and she's got another balloon on the inside. So uh, thank you so much for the beautiful card, Elaine. I love it. And then I have two swap cards came in, you guys, late, but better late than never. So I'm in a swap group with Jeanette Thompson Swain and they were due to us back in November and she just sent them out. So we, I caught them last week, but hey, you guys. Life happens. I think she had a hand injury, and so it kind of limited her functionality. But this one, it, okay, cool. Watch this, you guys. So it opens this way, and then it opens that way, and she featured the designer paper so you could see both sides of it. Very cool. I love it when both sides of the designer paper coordinate very nicely so that you can use them both at the same time. Hi, Donna Simmer. All right, so there's one of her Fitting Florets cards. And then the it was two cards with, I think, oh, I can't remember anymore what the group was, like what the requirements were, but let's get that like that. And then this one, oh, so one was a fun fold, and then the other was using fitting florets, I think. So thank you uh, with all my heart. Very soft, soothing colors on these. And then, whoa, I couldn't even open it. <laughs> there it is. So requirement when you do swaps with me is that the inside has to have a focal image or designer series paper. So I love it having completed inside so that these cards can be ready to use right away. All right, so a couple more cards you guys I wanna share with you before we mosey on to our class. These are, so the customer swap for the month of December had I think a handful of people, maybe six people. So I finally got time, I think it was Monday morning. No, it wasn't Monday morning, it must've been Tuesday morning. To, to make sure all the, the swap cards are in there. So I've got them here and I'm gonna just share them with you quickly uh, because there's not that many. Uh, if you wanna get on the customer swap group for the Cards by Christine, just let me know. Uh, it's called Cards by Christine Customer Swap Group. There are some rules and regulations like always, right? Um, and that's just so that people can have expectations of what kind of cards they get back. Uh, but these are the ones for the month of December. Hi, Betty Pyle. So this one's from Deborah Putt from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I think I like this little raccoon dude. <laughs> um, the beautiful tree. The dyes are no longer available. Oh, Inspired Canopy, I think, was the name on that. She's got some little snowflake embellishments were from last year's. And then snowflake hugs on the uh, on inside. Warm winter hugs. So, so what happens is I am the host for the customer swap group. And because there isn't a rule that it has to be all Stampin' Up! products, uh, it ends up that there's not always stamping up products on. And so what I do is I donate my cards. Um, so we have a whole box ready to get donated. Um, so this one's from Kathy Jackson. The theme was winter. Uh, here's the Freezing Fun, I think was maybe the name of that set. Freezing Fun. She's got her snow uh, puff paint on here too. And this one's always oh, a little mini card. I love it. A little mini card on top of a card. Hi, Tundra Hudson from Ohio. Uh, so this way too, you get to feature this designer series paper front and back. 
So that one is from Kathy Jackson. So what happens is these will get donated to um, nursing homes, um, the w, uh, VFW, like um, the American Legion, like soldiers who need cards. And so that's what I do with them. Uh, and we're going to get them prepped and ready so that we don't have to open them up again another time. So this one's Carol Alanis. And I already showed you the card. So she always makes an extra card for me as the host. And then she also donates a card. And that's awesome. So this card, you guys just saw that. That was from Carol Alanis. Starry Sky is that beautiful paper. And we'll take that off. And then this one is from Cindy Bowie. And we'll take that off because we won't need that on there. And oh, man, look at this, you guys. Mm, that's interesting. Very cool. And then you can see the butterfly there that says that. And then it actually, it does not go all the way like that. But it's cool that you can see that. That's a different technique. And then it says, get well soon. Very cool. Awesome. So that's from Cindy Bowie. Put that one away. And then the last one here is from Elaine Reback. Whoa. The hands are not functioning, you guys. I went to bed super late because I worked on putting my order in for all of the escape and all of the product shares and all of my team. So I did a team challenge for last quarter. It was called better your best. And if you bettered your quarter from last year, this quarter, you got by a hundred dollars, you got an embellishment. If it was 500 or more, you got a $20 gift certificate from me. And if it was a thousand or more, you got a $50 product shopping credit for me. So I had about 15 people on the team who did that. So I was getting all of their items ordered. So you guys, my brain is not, I'm not running at all eight cylinders. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. <laughs> oh, it's been a long day. Um, so this is from Elaine Rebeck for a customer swap. Uh, she's got the fitting florets uh, die here. Look at that really pretty ribbon. It's got this little silver kind of fleckle through it, fleckle. Uh, and then we got a little foliage on the inside. Again, a starry night card. I love that color. All right, so that's what I wanted to share with you guys for all the happy mail that I have. I will make sure that those get to the donation pile. And I've got these guys. We're going to put them on a pile. And grab. All right, make some room here for our card class, you guys. All right, I am at the end of class two, you guys. I was able to sneak in doing the drawing for the winners of these four cards and then these three cards, which are from classes in December. So I will announce those winners. Um, I thought about it long and hard and I did not pull the names for the monthly creative challenge or the class card challenge or the top fan. And I usually do those at the first live in the month. And with today being as crazy hectic as it was, I didn't pull them. So you guys, I promise I have them. Um, they're out there. I'll get them. And the next time we do a live, it'll be on my radar to do it. I just made the executive decision to be like, eh, let's let it go this time. So, all right, I'm going to set these over here. And we're going to do roll call, you guys. I get to grab my new purple binder. Look at this purplicious binder. Carissa set me up with this. <laughs> I love it. She helped me get it all situated so I have more order into my card sheets or my sign-up sheets. So, it's like I've got this nice little book where I start to log who is signed up for classes. So you guys like, look at it. Ink, paper, scissors. We already have 18. You guys, country floral, 32 people already. So exciting. Monthly class, we're at 20. So it's awesome. Like at a glance, it's really easy to see. And she put, helped me get it so that the back, so if I need to overflow, I'm not chicken scratching it everywhere. <laughs> so, all right. So you guys, for class tonight, we kitted up 96 cards. And at the moment... We have 57 or 58 signed up. I think that somebody else emailed me to, to sign up, but I, I didn't write it down yet. So so it leaves like 30, and I had 14 last night, and I have about seven on Saturday. But what I'm getting at is there's still some kits left. I thought in my head there was five left, but I think there's about 15. So as you guys are watching class tonight, if you're catching the replay, or if you're seeing, oh my gosh, I missed out, or oh my gosh, I'd like another set. Um, this class was free with a $45 order if you need the kits mailed to you, or it was $24 to have it mailed. Hi, Dawn Ablett. Um, I am from work. We'll catch you on the replay. Sounds good. Have a good night, Dawn. Uh, so if you guys are watching this and it's tomorrow or the next day or a week from now, and you're like, oh man, I wish I would have got it. Don't hesitate to reach out and let me know because um, most likely I will have kits. And what happens is if the cards end up going, if I don't sell out of a class, I move it to the past 
available classes at the back end of my schedule, which is found on my website. So that's what we can do. I am so excited to say Jennifer Knutson just took the last sweet card class. You guys, I had one left from January of last year and she just took it. And I'm so excited because I can like close out the class. It's always fun closing out a class. Um, so Karen Forward would like this kit. Yay, Karen. So Karen, as long as I got you and you're watching, um, your DSP sampler is in the counter on the mudroom. On the mud, on the counter in the mud room. Okay, so you've already paid for it, and you can pick it up whenever it works for you. I know you're coming to the escape this week, but if you want, or next week, if you want it sooner than that, it's on the counter for you. I will set a set of these cards with it, um, but not in the morning first thing. It'll probably be sometime during the day tomorrow. So yay. Okay, but I got you on the list. All right, you guys, we're going to do roll call. So if you're watching um, or catching the replay, just say, hey, hey, I'm here. I'd love to see who's here. Um, Mary Lemke, Deb Arblaster, Judy Sharp. <laughs> Mary Lemke actually did this class twice. She's got two sets of cards, you guys. Um, Donna Grushke, Doris Munson, Vicki Rodriguez, Sherry Stewart, Carmen Sanders, Feline Mays, Susan Bellamy, Linda Hall, Tammy Steckling, Lynn Beasley, Francis Rodriguez, Dawn Ablett, Pat Thomas, Carmen Melinda's, Susie Stocks, Karen Weststein, Sherry Everett, Bonnie Kemen. I hope you're feeling better every day, Bonnie, uh, Linda Hunt, Suzanne Neal, Angela Knutson, Beverly Smith, Shirley Peacock, Bonnie Gravlin, Laura Sullivan, Mary Carls, Carla Lake, Darlin Blaze, Nicole Herrick, Mary Jo McCulloch, Susan Warmly, Amy Ponce, Amy Bo, Amy, Judy Bobo, you guys, I got um, Amy on my mind here, Amy, and then Judy Bobo, Hildenel Vilches, Shirley Malarkey, and I got to flip the page, you guys, uh, Karen Stagg, Christina Bernard, Kathy King, Gwen Patrashek, Debbie Buzzy at Work Schultz, Carolyn Ketchmark, Lila Erickson, Marsha Dean, <laughs> and a couple of them, Melanie Hao, Chris Niebaum, Sharon Davis, Latokia Trigg, Kat Birch, Leslie McMinn, Sandy Wicklander, Marsha Long, Jeannie Parker, and Karen Forward. Woo, you guys, that was quite the list. And most of you guys should have your kits. Like the first two thirds of you, your kits were mailed out already last week. But if you've signed up in the last three to four to five days, um, you might not have your kits yet because they're either in the mail or they're still here waiting to get mailed. Um, it, it's a lot to cut <laughs> a thousand or 1200, I should say, actually say 1600 card kits and keep everything else running afloat. <laughs> so I uh, just know that you might not have your kits with you tonight to make the cards, but you can always watch and then you can make them later. So I'm so excited for you guys that are with me. Um, again, any class that I do like this, um, to get the kits, there's a cost, either usually an order or it's, um, a money-based class where you can pay for it. Um, but just to watch the Facebook, or Facebook Live, the YouTube Live, you guys, it doesn't cost anything. So just know if you ever want kits, that's where you got to reach out to me. So yay, a whole bunch of you guys are here. Yay, Linda Hunt is with Shirley Peacock. Yay, I love it. Okay, look at all you guys that are here. Um, Mary's, what settings does she need to be able to participate in the live chat? Well, so you guys, how the live chat works is you have to be signed into YouTube or your Gmail. You have to be logged in. And uh, once you're logged in, that is when you can participate in the live chat. Uh, you can't if you're not logged in. So, um, like, I'm logged into my YouTube. Like, I have, so what I have, you guys, I have an app for YouTube. Um, actually, on this screen right here, I have a YouTube app. So, when I click on that, it automatically logs me in. Now, if I go through, like, Google Chrome or DuckDuckGo, or if I go through an internet browser, you have to go to Gmail or YouTube, and you have to go log into your account. And when you do that, that gives you the ability to do this live chat. And there's a thing that says live chat right there. And that's how you should be able to comment publicly. You cannot comment unless you uh, are logged in. So that's the important thing in case anybody doesn't know that. Oh, yes, Jeannie Parker. I knew that. So you have that class and the monthly class. And I was planning to hold on to them because you're coming to the hive, you guys. I have two latecomers that are joining me from Michigan, Shauna Burns and Jeannie Parker, are making the trip, uh, I was going to say trip, trek, um, from Michigan here next week so they can attend in person um, for the, ha uh, the Winter Creative Escape. So I'm so excited. Yay. So you guys, just a reminder, at the end, um, I if somebody reminds me, because I might forget, 
because you know how I am when I get done, I'm like, what am I forgetting? What am I forgetting? And then it's like, oh yeah, I forgot that. So if you help me remember, I will take the camera off and we'll do a little tour through the hive so you can see what my mom was working on. She kind of left everything on the counter because there's it was short 40 mats. Um, I gotta go cut more and I got all the boxes lined up. You can't see it, I'm pointing, but um, I'll take you on a little tour of the hive. So yay, and thanks for that reminder, Marsha. Um, everybody should hit the thumbs up. So let's talk about these cards real quick, you guys. So these are what we're gonna make tonight. Um, fun folds usually suck the energy out of us. <laughs> I will tell you, they can be creatively challenging, um, mentally challenging, um, if you aren't prepared for it. So, um, but we did these cards last night and everybody was pleasantly surprised at how well they went together. Um, uh, and the thing with these is there's, you're, so if you're doing this class, um, you are getting one of the color combinations. Everything, once it got in an envelope, you guys, I don't know what anybody got, but there were just because of how paper works, um, you either got the coral base or the um, coastal cabana. And so what happens is if I'm making 96 of these, then I can make 48 with this color palette and 48 with this one. And I don't have to open up, let's say 20 packs of designer paper. I can open up maybe 10 or not even that. That was a lot, but just to give you an example. But ultimately the card is the same in a nutshell. The same thing happens with the barn card. Um, you either would get the black base with the hens and the chicken. Uh, and then this is the produce one. And for the PDF tutorial, just to show you guys, uh, thanks, G Judy. Just to show you guys, I'm going to try to find here really quick the to show you what the PDF tutorial looks like um, so that you can see how I wrote it. Catalog, launch, party. Let's see if this is it. So I'm going to open up the tutorial. Everyone, da, da, da. So when I send you the tutorial, so when you register for a class with me and you pay for it or you get it for free, you get the tutorial that's included in the class. And so when you see how I wrote the tutorial, I put both pictures there. So it doesn't mean you get both of them. It just means that you're going to make one or the other. And I reference like cherry cobbler or basic black. And then I have a picture of the inside. This one, there was only one pattern, but then on the owl card, they're both shown there. And then on the other card too, they're both there. So I put pictures of both of them. And then I also like try to do angle shots that you guys can see it. So this is part of one of the perks of taking the class is you get the written out PDF tutorial. And um, it's if you ever lose it, you can just reach out to me and I can send it to you. Um, for those that want to pay for the PDF tutorial, that'll be in my online store probably tomorrow or Saturday. All right. So well, let's get my phone stand and back up here. All right. So we are going to start, oh, here, this one's this. So, and these aren't different in terms of patterns, but when you get this piece of paper, it's uh, 12 inches wide and you got a three inch section of it. So your flower might be over there or the flower might be here. So that might be different for you, but this is a like a, an easily kind of card, step card. And then this last one is, thanks to Gwen Petrashek and Sherry Holly for oh, so much inspiration. Uh, <laughs> I had a lot of fun figuring this out, fun um, in quotes, uh, figuring this out, but I can't wait to show you guys how to put this together. Uh, Kelly Lamb, my helper, my marketing gal, my friend, my cousin, <coughs> she helps with the Technique Thursdays. She featured this for her Technique Thursday last week, and I'm going to show you an easy way to do this. Um, thanks, Penny Powell, for hitting the like button. I like that. We're gonna do this one last. We're gonna save this one for second last. And I think we're gonna start with uh, the barn card and we'll do owl here. So, all right, so that's the order we're gonna do. I have no idea what order they are at in the tutorial, you guys. I usually don't pay attention to that when I put cards together tonight. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna end up with the chicken card tonight and not the barn card. So we'll put that one up. And one thing I wanted to call out is I did these cards opposite. Oh, Linda Hall already put hers together. I love it. I love the colors I received. Both were beautiful. Good. So awesome. And I will like a set. My, Sherry Martin, you put S6. And I think you meant a set, right? If you want this class, just let me know. Um, so you can see I put the circle over on this side on this card. And I put the circle on this one here on the other side. And then I stamped the sentiment opposite. I personally like it over on this side better. So I think that's how we're going to do it. But I just wanted to show you that you could put it on the other side. And Sherry, as long as I've got you, we're going to put you on the list here as well. There you go. 
Thank you for signing up. If you want to just PayPal the money like you normally do, the class is $24. But actually, you guys, whenever I can consolidate shipments for classes, because you guys probably know by now I do a lot of classes. There's one every week, and sometimes there's more than one a week. Like this week, you guys, there was three classes this week. What was I thinking? <laughs> um, fitting florets is tomorrow. Um, but Sherry, you just signed up for Let's Just Stamp, if I'm not mistaken. So let me get back to you because if I can consolidate, I will. And I already have Let's Just Stamp ready and I have this ready and I can mail them together. So instead of sending $6 and $6 for shipping both classes separately, I'll combine them. I'll give you a different total. It won't be $12 for shipping. It'll be something less. So that's always good news, right? Um, I, if you guys are like me, you don't like to pay shipping. I, can, I try to avoid it. So I always try to, if I, if I can consolidate, I do. But if I don't know it on the front end, you send the full amount and then I um, give you credit back. So this barn set is right here. Well, I should say the barn paper is in here. And also, just to show you again here, what we have here is that pattern is on this one. And then the chicken pattern is this one. And so... We've got that going on. And then the bundle we're using for this one, you guys, is called On the Farm. And that is in the mini catalog. You guys, the host code is different as of right now. Um, if you're ever wondering what the host code is, it's always on my website at cardsbycrispy.com. So I have the hill of grass. <laughs> the rolling barn hill is what we were calling it. We need the barn. There is a chicken. Um, the sending smiles is what I used for the sentiment at the top. You guys, Chris and I worked on these cards. Oh, it feels like we designed these cards in early December. So it's been a while. Wow. Um, yes, it was Dainty Delight. Okay, cool. Um, don't forget to send me the tutorial for tonight's class. By the way, did you know today's Thursday? Ha ha, Sandy. Yes, today is Thursday. Hi, Carmen Sanders. Um, so it's a good point, you guys. So I try to keep track of like, and I don't think I did it this time. Usually what I do is I put a little tick mark at like, let's say I send the PDF tutorial out. I sent it out on Tuesday morning and I believe everybody up through like Sharon or Chris or Mar you know what I mean? I usually put a little tick mark there, but what I have to do is go back and see who the last person on the list was that was in the email from the original. And then I email everybody after again in a big group. So yes, Sandy, I need to make sure I send you the tutorial. I will definitely do that. So sending smiles has a bunch of long skinny sentiments that work great along the top. And if you don't have it, any sentiment will work as long as it's skinny and goes across the top. On the Farm is the set that was featured for this card. <sighs> um, not a lot of stamps from it, though. I mean, the barn does come from it, and the, the grassy rolly barn hill comes from it. On the inside, you guys, there's a chicken who's <laughs> on the top of the hill. He's ready, uh, or the, the, the hen is ready to cackle. Um... You wouldn't have to have this set. If you have something else you want to put on your circle, you definitely could. The little wind tower came die cut for you already, and you'll have one little embellishment in your kit. So that's what we've got going on for products. You will need a balmy blue ink pad for some sky if you're making your card similar to mine. And then you'll also need um, garden green ink for some the, the rolling barn hill, and then a memento pad. So not many needed for this. Um, Mark, what was that your sample, uh, you just showed? Um, Marsha Long, you'll have to, rem if, if I didn't already answer your question, you'll have to let me know, but it says, was that your sample, uh, or you just showed? I'm not sure exactly. Uh, the samples of the cards that we're working on are these two tonight, or for this one right now, but if you need me to answer that, a different question, you'll have to let me know more specifically what you need to know. <laughs> I try. So you guys have about 14 inches of linen thread in your kit. You'll have the little baby wind tower or windmill. You'll have two circles, the white and the black, or you will have white with cherry cobbler, right? Depending on which one you got. And then you'll have a little scrap of roux here. And that is for your barn, which I'm starting to realize that I didn't, um, I didn't die cut one out. I didn't like do the magic of TV. Um, yes, the barn sample that you were showing us. Yes, the barn sample samplers that you were showing us. Um, I can chat with you on my phone now too. Well, that's awesome, Jeannie Parker. Turn to Hi, Shirley Malarkey. So is this, Marsha, is this what you're talking about? The sampler? This is, yeah, this is the day at the farm sampler. This is the DSP sampler, and this is all of the paper that you would get with the day at the farm. 
in the color swatches. So this is a sample of what my designer series paper sampler is all about. Not sure if that answers your question, but we'll go. Um, this is all of the like little card that is the pocket that goes in. And then you have a base that's your four and a quarter by five and a half. And then this is the kind of card that's perfect because you get to see uh, the designer series paper on both sides. So you guys, I did score this. I cut it already. So it's cut at 10 and a half. It's scored at five and a quarter, right? So that gives you your traditional card mat, you know, right? That this fits on here then. But then I also scored it at one and a quarter, which brings that little flap down. I have a cast and so, I know, Jeannie, I saw you fell over the last week and you, I think it was your your wrist, if that, I think it was your wrist, right? Typing with one finger on the tablet. It's not so easy to do. Um, yeah, okay. So Marsha then, if that's what, yeah, that's the DSP sampler that I was just showing you guys earlier. That is 26. I have six left now because uh, Linda Hall just took one. All right, we have this folded, ready to go. But we're going to work on the circle first, and we're going to get our stamping done. So let's just do this stuff here. We need the blending brush and some balmy blue ink. And what we're going to do is blend a sky on here. So get some ink on your blending brush. And what you're going to do, now if you have a sponge dauber or a sponge, you can use that as well. You're just going to get some balmy blue ink on the sky here. So Marsha Long, if you're interested in one of those DSP samblers, please let me know. Um, you can message me your text how you normally do and just let me know if you're interested. Um, I'd be happy to get one to you. When you guys are putting your sky on here, don't hesitate to go almost all the way to the end. I left just a section here that is going to be green. And don't worry if it goes down too far because your grass is going to cover it or your rolling hill. Jeannie, you weren't even drinking, right? <laughs> that would make it more eventful or a better story, right? <laughs> All right, because Tyler's show, his line is alcohol wasn't involved or alcohol was involved. <laughs> All right, so you've got your sky here. So that's it for the Blommy Blue. Nothing else needed for that one. And then what we're going to need is the Memento ink. And we're going to stamp our little barn in memento on that little scrap. That's it for the barn. Uh, the other thing, we're going to grab a little scrap and put that underneath here. We're going to need to stamp the, <laughs> the rolling barn hill. <laughs> All right, let's stamp off there. And then this is going to go along the bottom edge of this circle about like that. If you stamp it too high and you want to get another little rolling hill on there, you could put another one on there to fill up some of that white space. Now you're not done with that. You also need to do that on the inside. Oh, Marsha wants a DSP sampler. Very nice. Okay, so I'll make a note here. So Marsha, <laughs> um, it's $26, but there will be a small amount of shipping because you have something else going out yet and I can add it to it, but I don't, so shipping won't be an additional $10, but it will be something over a dollar, right? It'll be a few dollars, which I won't know until I go to weigh it. And so then you guys, this was the little rolling barn hill. I'm gonna put that along the bottom edge here as well. And I've got the memento open yet because the chicken is gonna hang out on the top of the hill. Now, you may want to practice, you guys, because if you don't know where your chicken's feet are, it's going to be coming in for a landing. And I know where my chicken's feet are, so I'm going to not worry about that. But you don't want your chicken, like, flying in and, like, not touching the ground. It's kind of funny when that happens. But uh, so the other thing that's at the top here would be a sentiment. And I'm going to stamp a card to say hello and that's going to go along the left-hand side here. So, yeah, I think, Marsha, if I'm not mistaken, you got the one of my Ringed with Nature classes from I did on Tuesday. And you got this class. And we can consolidate them because I have not mailed out the other yet. Today was a busy, busy day. So that's what we have for stamping. This can get glued down as well as nothing at the moment. 
we could do this one and actually we could do this guy. So let's grab those two things. And this one goes right onto the mat and your mat is either going to be a black or it's going to be cherry cobbler, depending on what you got for a base. Doris said, I sent you an email and we'll mail a check for the DSP sampler. Awesome, Doris. That sounds great. Um, I was going to say, yeah, we've, cause I've already sent out your cards, I think for the month. That would be perfect. All right. So then let's do the assembly of this. All right. So you guys are probably like, why? So I had it in class last night, but people were wanting to glue this. And it's your option, you guys. If you want to, you can glue this flat and glue it flat and leave it like a pocket card. There's not a lot of wiggle room. And that was intentional because the way that we designed it. Oh, I got to get a tear and tape. <laughs> I cleaned myself out of here. Okay, you guys, I'm going to go run and get a tear and tape. And it's right on the table, so let me go get that. I need that to proceed. We had all hands on deck today, and so I grabbed tear and tape from wherever I could. All right, so grab your tear and tape, and you're gonna need four pieces. Now again, if you want to glue your sides shut, you might consider making this thinner so that it fits in here better because there isn't a lot of wiggle room. Now, what I would do is there's a flap here. I would flip this over and put tear and tape where that flap is gonna be. And I would put a tail on each side. Keep the ribbon as one piece. I'm going to fold, you know, look at it from the front and I want to center this back here and put that tear and tape right over it. I put the tear and tape as close to the edge as I can. And then on this side, looking at it from the front so it's centered, put that little tail behind there and then again, follow up with a piece of tear and tape. So you've got your ends on there, and it probably looks super weird to you because you've got this big loop. Well, I'll, we'll fill you in here in a second. It'll make sense to you what we're doing. So grab your liquid glue or whatever you use for adhesive, and we're gonna get that glued onto the black card base or cherry cobbler. That goes right on the front. And just like that. Get it centered as good as you can. We need to do a little coloring, and I've got colors here, the watercolor pencils. There is Garden Green, which was used for the Rolling Barn Hill. So you could use that a little bit. Now you can be a little bit forgiving with not hitting everything, it's okay, because what you're gonna do is grab a blender pen and so this is what it looks like now let's show that look at that you can see it looks scratchy and liney and not so exciting but what you use a blender pen for is it helps to really smooth that out you want to make sure there's no color in your blender pen and so what happens when you do this so watch this it looks so cool you can't do it a lot there's a solution in there and water and paper don't mix so well, but if you go kind of light feathery strokes, if you keep going over, it's gonna get matted and weird. So you gotta um, definitely be light and wispy with your coloring of it. So did you see that? <laughs> I was trying to make sure that you guys could get that so you could see that. And that's exactly the same thing that'll happen here with the barn. So the barn's gonna, you get to watch me color or -er. Use your, if you have blends, you could definitely use blends on this as well. But we're just gonna color and make it a, a nice little red barn. Like this looks even worse, <laughs> this coloring job. But you can watch the blender pen action here. And I just saw, I just cut a few vegetables from the inside to use for the circle since I didn't have a barn stamp. Very cool, okay. so. 
Watch this, you guys. This is gonna make the, all those little white lines go away and I'll smooth it out. So Penny was saying she didn't have a barn and what I'm gathering is on this, if the back side, she cut out the vegetable, a few vegetables from the inside to use. That's awesome. But way to be smart about that. Cool. Um, you guys, there's a dye that goes with it, but I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I don't feel like standing up and walking over to the machine and die cutting it. So if you want to get a little fussy cut work in here, it's not so hard to cut this. There's a lot of straight lines. And look at that. I've already got it cut. <laughs> Talk about easy street. All right, so we've got that. Now let's finish working on putting this together. That turned out really nice. I'm so excited. Oh, you guys, I, don't, I wasn't even watching how close up the fussy cutting was. <laughs> All right, so what you need, some dimensionals. So we're going to grab two, and I want my circle on the right. So I'm going to put a dimensional here and here. One above where the linen thread is and one below. And hi, Andy Aquisto. Had to work late, but I excited to see, excited to see a class. Yay. I'm glad you were joining. The circle goes right over the top of that now. So you've got your linen thread looped through, and you didn't put excess adhesive on that top, right? That could actually, we'll bring it down just a hair. Something like that. All right, so now that linen thread is through. And what you're going to do now is hold this up in the air so that it's nicely centered. Hi, Pauline. Had a lot of errands. I hope you got them all done. And then cut that. And this is where a reverse tweezers or a buddy would work out awesome. But what you're going to do is now that you've got your tails they're equal. You, if you use a reverse tweezers, you just put that right there, and now you can tie a bow. Now, you're not going to make a knot. <laughs> if you make it a knot, um, you're not going to op open the card. But there's the bow, and then whoever gets this will be able to untie the bow and open the entire card so you can make your tails as long or as thin. So 14 inches, I thought, was plenty. I wouldn't trim it. Um, unless you think your tails are too long. Um, but let's make that guy go like that. You can kind of finagle the linen thread to go where you want it to. But now you've got this awesome pretty little bow, right? And somebody would untie that. Uh, the only downfall to something like this is if somebody opens it and brings it all the way down, the ribbon goes out from underneath, and then you kind of got to weave it back through if you want to reshut it. All right. Um, oh, you know what? Why don't we go ahead... And color this. I don't always find that I color the insides on stuff, but let's do that so you guys can see that blender, the pen in action again. It's just awesome how it smooths it out. So back 20 years ago, I did my fair share of watercoloring, you guys, with these watercolor pencils. You have to be careful, though, because if you have water-based ink, and that, that will make it bleed potentially. All right, so that's gonna go in here like that. And then our barn has a dimensional on the top. And then what we're gonna do is put a little liquid glue at the bottom. <clears throat> and then I feel like, oh, there's my wind tower. This guy can go right there. <clears throat> Excuse me, frogs. <laughs> And then on this one, we could Stella this. Like that. And then I would use a little black dimensional right in the middle. And then a little liquid glue at the base. Don't need a lot. You just need enough. <laughs> it's got to come out of the glue bottle. There it is. Just a little bit so that it sticks to the bottom here. Just like that. <laughs> and I gotta get that little barn straight there. All right. I cut the barn from the DSP. Oh, perfect. You're right. Some of that DSP actually, yes. There is. One of the pages has the barn in it that you could definitely cut it. I don't remember which one it is, but one of the ones that has the print on it. All right, 
Now, in your kit, you guys got either a white or a brown enamel like this, either a large or a small. That It just goes in the center. At no rhyme or reason. I think the red cards got white and the these bluish cards got the brown ones. But um, these are some of the new enamel dots that are in the spring mini catalog. They're called enamel dot essentials. And they come in four colors, or three, navy, crumb cake, and then the white. It's like a creamy white. So I know it's odd, only one embellishment, but it just seemed like all we needed was one. There we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's our first card for tonight. Uh, awesome card if you want to showcase off some designer series paper. So the layout's pretty cool. All you got to do is um, change it up with whatever else you have. The other thing you could do is go around the edge here. And you could Stella the black edge on that mat. I would definitely try not to hit the blending action that you did. Boom. All right. Our first card in the books for tonight. We'll set that guy off right there. And we will go to the next one, which is the owl. Hoot, hoot, hoot card. <clears throat> Color patterns on this one are coral or blue. Adorable Owls is the stamp set that got used. And Adorable Owls is in here as one of the free items that you can get with a $50 order. And definitely made it so that you could have it more boyish or more girlish, depending on the color palette you have. The other stamp set that got pulled in here was Friendly Gnomes, just for some inside stuff. And the Sending Thoughts. A sending smiles stamps that got used again on the inside there's a sentiment that says birthday wishes so it's a cute birthday card um all right let's show you here the friendly gnomes we use the squirrel and the birdie and this is a card that you can use to put a gift card in so like let's say you have a gift card that you got from the store and or the restaurant, it fits in here. Just like that. It's so cool. It's like, boom, here's a gift card. Uh, you could also take a check and fold it up. You could take a cash, or a bill. Um, the Sentiment Susan came from a set called Sending Smiles, and we're gonna be using it in this card, this next card as well. So let me show you. The stamp set is, one moment, I gotta get it. It's in the annual catalog and it's called Sending Smiles and there's some dies that go with it. And I love it. They're easy, small sentiments that you can add to the outsides of cards very nicely. So the birthday wishes that we're using on this next card is from here and then the card to say, a card to say hello is in here as well. Okay, dokie. So I see here, if Alina's saying the sentiments in the stamp set are awesome. Wishing you the most magical of birthdays is awesome. Definitely agree. Spring is everywhere. Gnome, sweet gnome. There's gnome one better than you and love you. And you got all the little mushroom house and little springtime gnomes. That is where uh, the little squirrel boy and the birdie, birdie, birdie come from. Okay, and that's adorable owls. Let's grab the card kit. I have, for myself, I think I have a blue one. So let's grab that. Lots of pieces in this one. <laughs> All right. You have a little label and another label. Now, you guys, these come from a new set. The It's in the spring catalog. They are part of a double suite called Fancy Flora, I believe. Some awesome labels. Here they are. That little label right there, these are all awesome labels. If you need some labels to put on the um, outside of your card, these are perfect. Look at how many different ones you get, and that's where that little slanted. Now, if you have the Joyful Flurry dies already, it's the exact same size. Joyful Flurry had stitching around it, where this one has a little raised, it's got raised on the inside, and then it's kind of flatter on the outside. So that's where both of these came from, that bundles called something fancy something fancy fancy don't let me down there's either two freesia or two balmy blue mats and then two corresponding white mats to go so one for the inside one for the outside and then 
your little pocket for the inside comes from the Dandy Designs. Way back here, that big pack. It's the mega pack. You get 48 sheets that are all 12 by 12, and you get four of each one. We pulled in that bluish one, and we pulled in the purplish one for our insides. And I used, you guys, I did. I pulled a three-quarter inch circle punch, and I already punched it for you. Uh, I know that the circle punch is retired, but I still use punches in my business. So that came from a three-quarter inch circle punch. You got your two mounts. You either have balmy blue white ribbon, which is in the new mini catalog, or if you got this one, you got the fresh freesia here. Thanks for answering that, Cindy. I appreciate it. You have an arm. I'm going to call it an arm. It's seven and a half by three and three quarters. Seven and a half divided by three is what? Two and a half. So every two and a half inches, there's a score line. So at two and a half and five. And then you guys have some layers here. You might just line them up before you get glue happy. I noticed in class last night, a couple people trimmed a little bit so it would fit better. When I cut on my big machine upstairs, sometimes the sixteenths of an inch get bigger or smaller and then the margin looks a little different. So this is always a good time to just lay it out, see if it looks good. And if you need to trim, you, you can at that point. But there's nothing holding us back from getting a little glue happy. So this one goes this way and that one goes back, but you definitely do want to burnish with your bone folder. We can glue, so it goes like this. So we can glue the back here. So if you're put, looking at this, I would look at one side and look at the other. Make sure that they're folded nicely. If one side overhangs, like from this way, I don't see anything that looks off. If I fold it this way, I see that that edge hangs up over a little bit. So I'd make this my back. I'm going to glue this side. I'm going to glue this. And I'm going to glue this. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Do you guys do that at home where there's nothing on either side, but you still have like this natural instinct to flip it over? <sighs> I don't think I'm the only one that does that. All right. So little glue. A little glue. A little glue. Let's put that onto here. And because I already held them up to each other, I know that they're going to be fitting nicely. And then this one goes on here, like so. And then this one goes right in the middle, just centered top to bottom, left to right. Yeah, you guys, I think that everybody's loving these owls. That's what I'm hearing. They are adorable. I would pick these owls over the donkeys from two years ago, any day of the week. And then there was frogs the year before. I would pick the owl over the frogs. I don't even remember what kids... There was a kids -y set last year, too, if I'm not mistaken. Um, There. Oh, we could do this, too. So, do you guys... <laughs> Um, if you got the December paper pumpkin, you would know that there is some extra thin one eighth inch tear and tape. Perfect for this. Amazing that they planned this with my card. <laughs> I know they really didn't, but I can always think this. So if you've seen me in the past, I take the quarter inch I'll rip off what I need and I take my scissors and I cut it so that it's an eighth of an inch. Well, look at, look at, look at. They gave me some really skinny tearing tape, which is amazing to use. So you don't have to trim it or anything. I'm going to put, I'm going to get it all the way up to the top here for sure. Get it all the way to the edge if you can, you guys. You want to make sure that, that it's up to the top. And then we're going to go along the bottom as close to the edge as we can, you guys. Just like that. And then we're going to do one more. Oh, Mar Mary's loving the owls, too. I love it. So then this one's going to go on that side. As close to the edge as you can get, guys. Just because the further in you are, the less wiggle room you have. <laughs> I'm like, can I cherish this little tear and tape? <laughs> It's perfect. I also have one from the gals from On Stage Judy and Kristen. Diane and Julie gave me a roll. But 
I have a hard time showing off non-Stampin' Up! products on a video, right? But this is legitimately Stampin' Up! Terran tape. So I'm very proud to use that on a live where I'll be honest, like I'll use the roll that they gave me to make cards because it's all in the end, it's Terran tape, right? You guys, it works the same. But I just want to, I was just so excited that they put it in the paper pumpkin. This goes right on the inside of this here like that the the window here the panel i should say is two and a half inches and this little dsp piece is just less than two and a half inches and it would help if you get it straight so let's see i had it in there just a little cockeyed so let's go like that more and then we're taking shape it's a good thing too with something like this if you're gonna be putting a card in there or check or cash that's got height to it the heat from your fingers will help that bond to the paper, the two papers together. All right. Oh, Linda Hall used tear and tape on the last card. Perfect. That eighth inch tear and tape is amazing. So I'm very happy that the gals got me some of that. Let's get some stamping done. Memento is the ink color of choice here. And you're going to stamp your owls. Huh. The question is like, how high do you stamp them? Well, I just kind of looked at how much white space there was up there. And that's how I knew how tall to make him. We're going to go like that. Um, his feet look a little bit not, not straight. I'm going to flip it over and do it a little bit more counterclockwise. See if that makes a difference. Cool. All right. Then our sentiment, it says, it's the day. I would practice on the back of this. My stamp is pretty good, if I do remember correctly. We would start offering the eighth inch tear and tape. So that was what came up in conversation today, Deb, or maybe it was even yesterday, that we were talking that it would be so awesome if they would. Oh, it's perfect. Okay, let's see if I can do that on the other side. <laughs> oh, goodness. That's good enough. All right. So there is a back and a front to die cut images. There's a rough side, which is the back, and then the smooth side is the front. So really like that. The inside is here. This is a photopolymer stamp that I'm going to be using. It says birthday wishes. So we're going to ink that up also in memento. Put that right about there. And then the little birdie, birdie, birdie is going to be hanging out on the birthday. I do use contraband tear and tape from another company from your, yeah, exactly, you guys, it's going to happen. <laughs> we are going to use whatever we want to. Um, I, I totally get it, especially if Stampin' Up! doesn't carry it. Like, they don't carry eighth inch tear and tape, but I can still use the quarter inch and make it work. So I try to do that as much as I can. All right, they need to market the eighth inch tear tape. They sure do. I agree 110%. The little squirrel boy goes in the bottom corner. Oh my gosh, I was zoomed out, you guys. So there's our little squirrel boy. I think that's it for stamping. So we'll put the stamps behind us, the inks behind us. I'm out of the way. Grab the chamois as long as we're at it. Got the drawer open. Hi, Julie Bierschbach. Cute. Yes, I flipped the white paper also. <laughs> yeah. So Julie, I did send an email with the blends that we need. And you'll see them tonight in action as well. Just depends on what color um, owl you get. So Judy Immel didn't want to risk getting one or the other. So <laughs> Judy actually got both sets in class last night. And then she could get one of each. So that worked out good for her. We're going to clean. You guys, as long as I'm in my cleaning mode here, let's get these guys all cleaned up. Squeaky, squeaky, squeaky. All right. I think we're at a point where we can color me happy. And you're gonna need some blends. Blends are these. I have some blends down here. I think what we're gonna need, I used, I may have referenced Granny Apple Green on the tutorial, but I have Light Old Olive here instead, which works just as nice. There's gonna be crumb cake and crumb cake in light and dark. And then pool party and balmy blue for, 
for the owl and his party hat. I didn't color the inside. Here's your coloring 101. There's not a lot of space. Oh, you need pumpkin pie too for the light pumpkin pie for his beak. Oh, Carmen's all signed up. Yay. That's awesome, Carmen. Let's get his little tootsies and his nose. That's it for that. Then we've got the green for his eyeballs. I like the owl with green eyes. He's pretty. Or she. Well, this one's going to be the boy. Because <laughs> I got a blue base. All right, that's it for the green. A party hat. We're going to make one of the little stripey, or two of them, the pool party color. That's it for that color. And the other one can be the balmy blue. So Let's get that. Party hat on the top. You don't have to color because we've got a little gem. And then we've got the owly dowly do outside. Is going to be in the dark crumb cake. So what I use the thin end for is when I'm going around the edge of things in, in smaller spaces. And then when you have a little bit more wiggle room, it's when you can pull out the brush tip end. To fill that in. So Carmen, you said you're all signed up. I, If I remember correctly, you're all signed up. You were going to become a demonstrator today. Yay! And then we're going to do some of the dark crumb cake for the his full, it's not his fingers, but his wings here that are coming together in front of him. I moved back to the um, the thin marker tip. It just seems to work better for me. Light, wispy strokes. I try not to put too much pressure on the marker tip so it doesn't get worn out fast. Don't, don't push too hard. There, something like that. All right, the next and last color is going to be the crumb cake. Bigger surface area. So I'm gonna use the brush tip. If you hit the darker crumb cake, it's not gonna be that noticeable, so it's okay. Just don't wanna give them a case of the crumb cake eye. <laughs> so try to avoid the white part. We're gonna go around here. Try to get this area good. Just like that. All right. And there's your little bit of coloring on your little owl. I do have a piece of scrap paper underneath there, you guys. So when you are coloring, this blends, it kind of soaks through the paper. And if you don't have anything underneath, it might soak in and kind of discolor whatever's below. All right. <laughs> Didn't look weird <laughs> seeing the back of him. All right. Okay. Carmen, does that mean that you signed up through me? I don't know if I gathered that. I wasn't sure if you were signing up through me. I thought you said. I don't know. New Stampin' Up! member. It was. Carmen Sanders! Yay! You're the fifth newbie today. You guys are like quintuplets today. Welcome, Carmen. Awesome. Yay! I didn't put that together until Penny mentioned it. So, it was that you were going to sign up on the team. Yay, I'm so excited, Carmen. Oh, that's awesome. Yay, yay, yay. I mean, I remember vaguely talking about it before Christmas on a live. And I was during this live, I didn't quite put it together. My head was focused on coloring. So I got it. So you're, you're a quintuplets now with Sherry Martin, <laughs> Mary Lemke, Debbie Schultz, Jean Terwilliger, and Carmen Sanders. The five of you are my quintuplet bees today. <laughs> Yay! And I bet that somebody else on the team already previously has an anniversary of January 5th because it's always a great day um, at the beginning of January to sign up, right in the beginning. <laughs> awesome! Congratulations! I'm so happy. We're happy to have you on the Be Happy Stampers team. We have an amazing community. All right. Very cool. So all of the five of you that just signed up, just know I will be adding you to the Be Happy Stampers um, Facebook group. So I have a private Facebook group just for the team. And um, also there's a demonstrator planning place, uh, which is another Facebook group for demonstrators. And then um, Kelly Atchison is my upline and her team is called A Stamp Above. And so I will be inviting you to hers <laughs> as well, all of you guys. And it's like anything. You can 
get involved as much as you want, look at as much as you want, or you can ignore as much as you want. It's really whatever you want. All right, so this little guy goes on the inside here. And what we're going to do is prep this with a couple dimensionals underneath here. Yep. Oh, man, there they were. You guys, I'm like, they have to be underneath something. We're going to put a few dimensionals on the back here. Awesome. Thanks, everybody. You had lots of congratulations around for our newbies today. And then, so that's prepped and ready to go. Grab your tear and tape, your regular one. And we're going to need four pieces for your ribbon. We're going to need to do a little trimming. So the ribbons, when I cut ribbons, you guys, there's never enough to go around and, and tie a knot, knot or bow. What you're going to need to do is cut off as much as you need like that. So that's enough to wrap our tails behind. And then we do a fake knot on the front. Let's prep the back here with our tear and tape like that. There is blue on the bottom edge and white on the top edge, or however you want to look at it, on one edge and the other edge. I'm going to have it so the blue is on the bottom. So, Feline, that is awesome that you do have a upline team leader. That is fantastic. Not everybody has that because everybody's different. Everybody does different things with it. But the fact that you have that is awesome and you keep that um, because... Um, that is one of the only decisions you get to make when you join Stamping Up is who is your upline. You get to make that pick. Like Otherwise, everything else is kind of set for you. That, I remember that when I signed up under, um, she's no longer in Stampin' Up, but my old leader was Doris Fryman. And that's one thing she told me. She's like, the one choice you get to make in Stampin' Up is who your upline is. Other than that, Stampin' Up makes almost every other decision for you. You know, they tell you what products they, you know, go, you know, they, they designate everything else. So you could pop this up or you could put it flat. I'm going to go ahead and put it flat because I've already taken the tear and tape off the bottom. This will go right on the front here. Just like that. And then this is set up so that it goes right below his feet. So it makes it look like he's like hanging out on the, the birthday sign here. So he's grounded. And then this last little ribbon here. What you're gonna do is wrap that into a knot. I call it like a little bow tie. And that's gonna go on here with a glue dot. If I didn't have to quit and sign up, I definitely would join under you. So you know what? <laughs> that is the million dollar like thing that the question you have to ask yourself. You know, figure it like I've had six people who have dropped Stampin' Up and joined under me because they wanted community and they wanted a different team leader. And it is true. You do have to resign. You have to either let your demonstratorship go or you have to call and resign. And if Stampin' Up! is your upline, the one perk about that is you only have to wait 24 hours to re-sign up. If somebody else is your upline, you have to wait 90 days. And I've had people do both. I've had at least three people that have waited 90 days to join my team. And I've had people who have been with Stampin' Up. They had their five-year anniversary, had hit $100,000 in sales. And then they dropped and re-signed up and they haven't looked back since. Um, so it's not something that isn't doable. It's always manageable. It's just, it's just, it's always a, just a hard decision that you have to make. You know, I'm not promoting it or saying, to do it or not to do it. It's always everybody's personal preference. You always, you guys have to always say, I always say, do what makes you happy. <laughs> do you, you do you and I will do me and I will help you along the way is what I tell my team. Like, the, so you guys, this, I hope you were watching what I was doing. I put the little fake bow knot thing right here and it goes right at the bottom just to add a little cutesiness at the bottom. Then you have these opal rounds and you have a big one. That goes on his party hat. Yay. Just like that. And then there should be a small, two small ones. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Mary Carls. <laughs> um, I have an amazing team of people. Uh, the community that we have built is completely fantastic and awesome. 
and words can't describe how honored I am that I have the people I have on my team. It's just amazing how everybody comes together and the support they give each other. It just blows my mind how great it is. Look at our little owl dude, you guys. That's it. Card number two. Now, I did not pull out Stella. Um, I'm trying to think here. So, you could definitely Stella the owl, I think. That is exactly true, Vera. You only have to wait 24 hours. When Stampin' Up! is your upline. So, let's say you lost your first, your upline. You lost your second upline. And, like, your third upline, if they would drop... Then Stampin' Up! is your parent, right? Your your um, um your mom, let's say. Because, <laughs> like, I have people who are second and third line to me, and they call me grandma and mom, right? So, <laughs> um, <clears throat> so when Stampin' Up! is your mom, let's say, like your first line, <clears throat> your first level, you only have to wait 24 hours. So I had somebody that did that. I think it was past celebration. I'm trying to think what, what month it was. <clears throat> She's going on a year now. She dropped, and the next day she signed up on my team. <clears throat> and I think that Maria did that too. Um, Penny Powell. Well, I don't want to say names, but like, I had a couple people where they had Stampin' Up! as their upline, and well, that's what it was. They just waited 24 hours, and then they re-signed up. Now, what happens is you start at Bronze again instead of Bronze Elite. But I'll be honest with you, <clears throat> right now... If you sign up to be with Stampin' Up, the promotion is amazing. And not that I'm encouraging, so don't quote me and don't say that. I'm not encouraging. I'm just stating facts. Like, the promotion right now to sign up is amazing. And it's like, yes, you're giving up your 25% discount and going back to 20, but you're only doing that until you have your first 1,800 in sales, and then you build right back up to the Bronze Elite, which is 25%. But that, that difference is you you get it made up by the perks that they have during celebration now. And now I don't say, you know, sign up and rejoin and sign up and rejoin and sign up. Find a happy home and just stay there, right? And if you're not happy in the home you're at, like that's your decision that you need to make and figure it out, right? Get where may you are at a happy place. I want everybody to be happy, right? That's why we are the be happy stampers, right? So find a happy home and make it your home and be up for it. Your upline is um, <laughs> all the way across the lake. <laughs> yes, Jeannie Parker's in Michigan and I'm gonna be seeing her on Sunday. I'm so excited. Shauna Burns reached out to me on, uh, I think three days ago and said, do you have space? I wanna surprise Jeannie with coming to the escape. And I'm like, yes, you girls, I have two spots for you. Get your butts over here. So, um, so they're driving over from Michigan to be here with us and it's gonna be amazing. So. So, Jeannie, I'm so excited. Oh, hi, Ramona. Okay, you guys. So, hopefully, that wasn't too much jibber-jabber about the whole signing up. But not everybody knows that, right? Um, and you lose your upline. And then you potentially lose that upline. And then you lose that upline. And you're a, um, an orphan is what is what you call. Um, uh, um, you don't mean upline community. <laughs> no, it's all good, Jeannie. Um, we, you don't always know that when you have that all those people before you get lost, then you have... No home, really. And people like to have a home and a community with Stampin' Up. So, okay, you guys, that's our second card. We are going to make another fabulous card. We went away from the kidsy, guys-ish -ish cards. Now we're going to do two more feminine cards. And like <laughs> That's more my cup of tea, right? I love my feminine cards. I love flowers. I love purple. So this one is right up my alley, you guys. This one features... I know, isn't that awesome, Jeannie? Oh my gosh, she was, oh, I accidentally put glue on this. So that's why I put it on a piece of cellophane. So Shauna was amazing. I can't believe that is like the best surprise ever. <laughs> You're coming to the hive, girl. All right, so you've got some of the new Knight of Navy ribbon that's in the new mini catalog. I don't know, about eight inches. You have a stitched rectangle here that is in um, gray granite. You have a oh, purplicious glimmer shimmer um, bomb butterfly. If you need to poke anything out of here, you can. Um, that is good. Uh, there's a piece of white. It's for your mat that goes on the inside. You have your three by five piece of designer series paper. Hi, Holly Paplo. You have another piece of designer paper. Now, you guys, you might want to trim this a hair. We gave it a really small border. You might want to see a bigger border. So I'm going to put this right out there now. Like if you hold it up to it, it's very little with gray border. You might just grab your trimmer and give it a little bit bigger of a border. And all you need to do that is by trimming off a hair. Not a lot, just a little bit. So you could potentially do 
like another sixteenth of an inch on each side. Um, um, Carmen, yes, I have openings on Saturday. I have basically five spots left. Thursday's full. I have 15 for Thursday. I have 15 or 16 for Friday. So Friday and Thursday are full. Saturday, I only have 10 or 11. And Sunday, I have, uh, I think, nine. So if anybody wants to attend the escape in person, Saturday or Sunday, yes, there is space. Um, absolutely. So there's that. You guys, there's a little bit bigger of a border. I like that a little bit better. I think we had measured it to do just an eighth of an inch, which is actually a sixteenth of an inch all the way around. And it just... It just, it was a little bit not enough. So just so you know, you can trim it. You have two pieces here that are nine inches long each. This one is by five and a half and whatever this is. Um, I'm trying to go off of memory. I can't remember it. Uh, nine by, oh, three and a quarter. It's scored at three and a half. Okay, so three and a half is where that gets scored. And then this one, you guys, it's actually four and a quarter by nine, scored at three and a quarter, six and a half, and seven and a half. And you're going to have some mountains and you're some valleys. Need to go fix dinner. Okay, Judy Sharp, we'll catch you later. I hope you enjoyed the first two. All right, so you guys are going to want to take these. And this one goes this way. That goes back this way. And then that one goes this. So Jeannie Parker, I have, I hope you had a great day stamping with Naomi today. That looked like fun. You guys look like you were happy working on your cards. This one just gets burnished as well. Okay, we should do a lot of gluing, you guys. There's no reason why we can't get a lot of gluing done here. I love this DSP2 Mary Hartman. It is so pretty. This blue, I love this pattern. There's just something about that print. It's just so pretty to me. All right, so glue, glue and glue. This already has glue on it. <laughs> you guys, I accidentally put glue on it and then I didn't know it was for this one. Um, Deb Norman says, if you are thinking about attending, I would highly recommend it. Everything about it is awesome. For us, it is worth the three hour drive. Yay. Thanks for that, Deb. I appreciate it. I can't wait to see you guys too. Yeah. And you're staying for a long day on Friday. It's the shoebox swap on Friday night too. So Carmen, if you're coming up Saturday, and your interest, I don't know exactly, I didn't check where you live. I can't remember off the top of my head where you live. I, I do remember where people live, but not on the spur of the moment sometimes. Um, we have a shoebox swap set up for Friday night, and I had somebody that backed out of it. So I have one opening. If you want to design a card and come for the shoebox swap Friday night, stay overnight in the area, and then uh, come to the event on Saturday. Just putting it out there. All right, so that's on that front flap. Now let's do these glues. Let's get this glued down. So that is a mat, and that is a mat, and oh, Bobby says this is a card she's here for, and she loves it. Awesome. All right, so this one will go right on this front panel like that. Very awesome. There's that one, and then this one is going to go on this panel. Huh? <laughs> Bonnie Powell, she got three packs of this paper. She loves it. I love it. So Jeannie says, we did it. it. was so nice. She brought a kettle of chili and we worked right uh, up until the time for you. Oh, that's awesome. All right, these now, you guys, this can get glue here as well. Oh, I know. Night of Navy and Rich Razzleberry are two amazing colors together. Watch replay. All right, Feline, enjoy your dinner. Okay, this goes here like that right on the middle there oh thanks Angela Knutson all right Angela I did not make it over to see Jennifer today <laughs> oh we were so busy today so I called Jennifer and I'm on the docket to come and see her tomorrow so I didn't forget now this needs you guys this is how simple this really is it honestly is not so crazy put a little bit of glue here right? And this front panel, just, you want to make sure it gets lined up flush along the bottom, centered it. I'm centering it left to right here. You're just putting a little glue right there. All right. So that's easy. Now it's flush on that side. Now flip it over. And all you're going to do is put a little glue here and a little glue here. So you don't risk putting glue in the middle area. All right. So now all you have to do is shut this. 
<laughs> Donna Simmer says she needs that paper. So Donna, if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada, make sure you reach out to Rose Coleman. She's who I'm collaborating with for two classes. And Donna, you can now sign up for my sweet bundle class that I do. Um, Rose is offering the kits in Canada. So if you haven't saw, you haven't seen that yet, you haven't reached out to Rose yet, so my sweet bundle class for this month is called Country Floral Lane. She's going to be kitting up all the card kits and you can get them through her via purchasing or placing an order and getting them for free like I do. So, and I'm going to be doing her technique club class here in the States. So yay. Okay. So you guys, that's the meat and potatoes of this one. Look at that. Like that's not so crazy. All right. We have a little bit of stamping to do on this one. Let's look at this really quick. You guys are loving this paper. This paper is part of the Dainty Flowers Designer Series paper. It's part of free with a $50 order. I love that purple paper and I love that blue paper. This paper is what we're featuring for Let's Just Stamp this month. Let me go get the cards actually, you guys. They're gonna be amazed. One second. Diane Bogan, Diane Bogan Hagen and I designed these cards for the Let's Just Stamp featuring Dainty Delight. This is one of the cards we're going to make for Let's Just Stamp. It's later in the month. And yes, Angela, you're coming over tomorrow at 9 o'clock. Um, yep, Angela, you're at 9. And I need to go by Jennifer at 11.30ish. That's my plan. And then this is another card for the Let's Just Stamp. Again, this is, you guys, a fun fold. Look at this. It's an easel, like a toggle card, kind of. Like there's a little toggly. Super cool. That's the front. So this is Let's Just Stamp. I have about eight spots of this class left. And this one is a fun fold. You guys, this was their mystery card layout from last month in December. It opens this way, and then it opens that way. Isn't, and that's that pretty blue paper. Yeah, so that is it. Um, Dora, Dora, Donna has a local demonstrator, but I can also order the class from Rose. Absolutely. Yeah, Donna. So Stampin' Up! isn't like other businesses that I am aware of. Like, if you have a demonstrator that you want to get a class with, and then you have a different demonstrator that you want to get a class with, and you have a third demonstrator you want to get it, like, you can get classes from different people. It's not like, I, I associate it with Mary Kay. Like, Mary Kay, you have a Mary Kay lady, and you, she has your loyalty, and you, you have a hard time shopping with somebody else, right? For me, you guys, Stampin' Up! doesn't have boundaries or territories, except for country-specific. If you like a class of mine and you want to take it, you take it. If you have somebody else that has a class, you take it, like, right? And you can either buy it or get it free with an order, however it's being offered. I don't take any, like, if, like, no offense to that at all. Like, you can shop with whoever you want. This is Dainty Delight. That is the stamp set that we pulled the stamps from. No die cutting from the stamps or, like, the die that went with this bundle, but this is in the mini catalog, so it coordinates with it. But, yeah, Donna, if you are wanting, because... If I, would, if I recall correctly, you were asking for some of my kits way back many moons ago, but now you can get either the her technique club from her or you could get um, my sweet bundle class kitted from her and you would just work with her. I don't know, like her prices um, are in Canadian, right, dollars, so it's not going to be the same prices as my pricing that I have. I'm going to stamp my sentiment first though, you guys. I've learned my lesson. I like to stamp the sentiment first because if it's crooked, I can flip it over and redo it right away. And then I don't have to redo it. You guys are loving Rose. I love it. She is just a doll. I am so amazed with how sweet and nice she is and how easy she is to work with. And that's going to be not straight. So we're going to flip it and go up a hair on the right. And there it's good. Okay. That's why I stamped that first. Then, as long as I have the blue right here, we're going to do the Celebrate You. Um, the Celebrate You is wonky as well, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, I got to go a little bit higher on the right. I'm going to flip it over and do the back first. Okay, that's good. Let's see if I can do it again. Just like downtown. Nice. That's it for the Night of Navy. And, yeah, you guys, I've gotten a lot of positive feedback with... The fact that um, I'm working with Rose. A lot of you watch her and have said so many great and amazing things about her. And it's going to be great to work with her this year. We're definitely going to try it out for the year and see how it works. Um, and basically how it comes out is that she's designed a class and I've designed a class. We've collaborated and talked. But then what happens is her 
cards for her, and she we're offering them very similar. Um, like hers is a club, and then mine's a either you can pay for it or get it free with an order. And um, she's gonna kit up my card class for her customers in Canada, and then I'm gonna kit up because she has people in the U.S. that want her kits, and so this way I can offer those kits to her customers that watch. Well, they're not really customers, but her patrons that watch her. So we're just gonna glue this on the inside. And it's gonna be hard, hard to open it, but we'll get that in here. I got my glue so I can wiggle, wiggle with it until I get it straight. All right, the little butterfly. Um, you know, we're gonna grab a mini glue dot and put a glue dot right in the center of that body. Yeah, she does a Facebook Live video every morning, you guys. So depending on your paper, this paper, my butterfly looked better this way, but on this one, I'm gonna put my butterfly this way. So kind of figure out where your butterfly looks best. And then what you're gonna do is um, run the tear and tape. Yeah, so if you guys are wanting crafting inspiration every day, <laughs> no boundaries. You can watch her every day. I believe she's on at 9.30 her time every morning. I'm gonna run two pieces of tear and tape along the back here. It says, what is Rose's last name to check? Oh, assuming she's on YouTube. Yes, you guys, here, I will even show you. Just because when she does, so she's going to do the face or the live video. Oh, here it is. So thanks, Cindy Ranchi, uh Coleman. And what you do, she hasn't changed her YouTube. She's still under Rose Coleman, but she's going to be changing it to say stamping with Rose. Oh, she did it. Yay, I asked her um, the, over the weekend. I said, hey, you should update it to be your business. She did. She changed it. It's stamping with Rose Coleman, okay? And so she's got all these videos out here too. So she's on YouTube. She's also on Facebook, you guys. Um, I'm gonna move that here. I'm gonna move Krista down here. On um, Facebook, it's also stamping with Rose. So you guys, if you're watching me and you're in Canada, you are more than welcome to go out and reach out to Rose. She's a doll. Um, so they're stamping with Rose. Okay, so perfect. All right, and now you guys know where she's at. Um, she's just a hoot, I love it. All right, so we put some tear and tape on the back of this piece of stitch rectangle, and you're just gonna run the blue ribbon back and forth. So a little, you know, your tail up there, make a little loopy, a little whoopy, and then another loop right there. And I'm gonna look at it to make sure I like it. If I'm too far to the left or the right, I can still adjust it at this point. I'm gonna just take another piece of tear and tape. I'm gonna go back to live chat there. You can see if you guys are coming in. There it is. I'm gonna grab another piece of tear and tape, put that back here, and then grab two dimensionals. I'm gonna put them on both sides there, and then that just, it's <laughs> so, this card. It looks so complex and hard to make, but I think you're gonna be amazed at how easy it really is. Um, Jeannie Parker says it's 11 hour time. There, yes, there's one here, and then we're gonna snip the other end here at a diagonal, just like that. <clears throat> In your kit, you guys will have three loosey-goosey, opaque gems floating around in Never Never Land. You will, I promise. You're gonna be like, oh, I can't find them. Uh, uh, what, I just, I'm not a fan. They're go they're great, right? Getting three different color, four different colors. You got four different colors in this opaque gems. You get this dark, like gorgeous grape, fresh freesia, white, and like a pink. It's great, right? When you're working by yourself, but when you're trying to kit up cards and trying to cut things together, it's really hard. And there's four different size. I think there's three different sizes on here. So you either got, you got a big, a medium, a large, and you got it in all like three different colors, you guys. So that's how I coordinated it. So I wasn't like running out of one color and having lots extra of another color. So we're gonna put a purple one there in a medium. I'm gonna grab a pink really, eh, no, let's grab a freesia. I don't think I put any pink ones in your kits. So we're gonna grab a big freesia and then we'll grab a little baby white one. So you'll have three different gems and three different sizes. So I put the big one and a small one down here and I put the medium one on the butterfly. And this is what happens <laughs> when you are kidding up, you 
Like, because I didn't, I'm saving these purple ones for a different class. But yes, not so easy to cut these gems apart for everybody. All right. Hi, Suzanne. You thought fitting florets was tonight at 6 p.m. Utah time. Nope, that is not correct. Fitting florets is tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Catalog launch party is tonight, but you also have this class, I believe. <laughs> All right, so, and it's never Utah time. So just so you guys know, um, classes always, whenever I say a class, I'm in Central Standard Time. So whenever I say a time, <laughs> let's say six is my time. So six central. So, um, you know, usually on Facebook that kind of fixes it depending on what time zone you're in, but I'm always live at 6 PM on Thursday nights, central standard time. The fitting florets was an ad hoc class that I added to the calendar after it was introduced. And so I had to sneak it into my calendar and it's tomorrow morning at 10. Oh, I, oh, I have class tomorrow. <laughs> Angela, don't let me forget I have class tomorrow at 10 a.m. We have fitting florets at 10. Oh, my mom's going to be here. Oh, gosh. You guys, like the aha moment when you think, oh, I've got lots of, like, I have the free day tomorrow to work on everything that I need to work on. I just realized that I have class tomorrow at 10 a.m. Oh, okay. Well, it's good that we figured that out now. So I'll have some stuff lined up for my mom. And Anna Rebidu, if you're watching, we got to coordinate that too. So you guys might be here working while I have class, and that's okay. Well, there's a lot to get done. Anyways, you guys... <laughs> That was a good aha moment, Suzanne. Now I know why you asked about class tomorrow. All right. So you guys, isn't it beautiful? Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. It's just, it's so easy to make. Uh, no, Angela, you can still be here. You you can come stamp at nine. Um, I just have class at 10. I just got to remember to to have class at 10. <laughs> but I'm all set for it, right? Everything's here. All right. So you guys, that's the fitting florets card. It's gorgeous. So gorgeous. All right, next card, last card, amazing Mac Daddy card. <clears throat> Thanks, Ramona. I will definitely enjoy my day tomorrow. We, um, <clears throat> my mom wants to get birthday cards on. So you guys, the holidays snuck up and everything goes really fast, it seems. <laughs> we have not sent out the January birthday cards yet. So if your birthday is in the first part of January, just know, um, and I have you in my birthday card club, the, the cards will be mailing out probably on Saturday. So... That's exciting. Mom, mom is hot to trot to get those done and out of here so that you guys get your cards. <clears throat> All right. Let's work on our last gorgeous card, you guys. This is a favorite of mine. I have not enjoyed a card so much as this one as I, I just in a long time. I just love it. It is gorgeous. I just, oh, and this paper was so fun to work with with this card. Do, 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 do. I have a case, two cards. Uh, it was Sherry, Holly, and Gwen. Let me see if I have them. Gwen Petrashek. Um, Here they are. <clears throat> All right, to give credit where credit is due with these. I had a an onstage event that we went down to onstage in Indianapolis. Um, prepping your DSP for tomorrow as I watch this class. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> All right, you guys, multitasking is an amazing thing, and we're always so good at it. <laughs> um, this is the um, Gwen's card. These are both from on stage swapping that I hosted. And so I took these cards and I cased them. Like Chris and I looked at these, and we were like, we came up with that. Very cool, right? So it's like a, it looks like a wedding cake. I think that's what somebody said earlier when I showed it. It looks like a wedding cake. All right, so these are the two cards that we case. We case the layouts, right? Not necessarily the, like different. So they look the same in terms of the layout, but when you pull in different products and different colors, that makes them completely different, right? Those are what we looked at for the inspiration. I will tell you that it was a bear to figure out sizing. Oh, there's Rose. Rose is on here, you guys. In case you have any questions for Rose, um, definitely ask them in here. We've got a couple people. Um, I was telling them, Rose, that you they should definitely reach out to you for kits for either the club or for the sweet class. Okay, so guys, this was a bear to, to figure out the spacing, the sizing, and, and I work in sixteenths of an inch. So definitely, um, it's definitely good to have that if you want to maximize the space that you have. Um, let's talk about what you have. So you're either going to have the purple-licious layering, coloring combination, or the coral-licious. <laughs> 
glare. Uh, the design on this back, it's like there's more coral in that background piece. Otherwise, there's more purple. I saved a purple one for making live with you guys. Um, this is, so we're going to leave the purple one here. We'll put the coral one off to the side. Let's go through what's in the kit. This is what my mom would call the gourmet card. <laughs> uh, you have a little hangy ball thing. <laughs> this is out of pearlescent paper. <clears throat> the stamp set that we're using for this one, you guys, is called Fragrant Flowers. And it's in the uh, mini catalog. The stamps we're using are that one. And I think I'm going to use Hello, you called for that one. Um, yes, I am super excited as well, Rose. It's going to be awesome. This is in the mini catalog. There's a cool, that label, that hexagon die is part of this. Okay, I'm not going to use the thanks. There is a difference. If you use the thanks, you have a little bit less room to hang on over here. Where if you use the Hello, the Hello is shorter and you can cover up a little bit of it with the Rose. The dye that was used out of here is from that set. Yeah, Rose, you have gained so much love. Everybody has said such positive things and amazing things about you. I'm so excited <laughs> that I'm working with you. <clears throat> All right, you guys, let's go also through this. There's green leaves that come from that set. There is this piece right here, which is where you're going to stamp your flower onto. And then either fussy cut it or die cut it. You have your label, which you're going to need to stamp your sentiment on. So these two pieces for stamping. You have a, about four inches of the open weave evening evergreen and then lots of layers. This is not a square, so don't try to glue it this way. It's not exactly right. It's a, a sixteenth of an inch shorter one way. So that's one mat layer. You guys, all the measurements for this are in your PDF tutorial that you got for taking the class. Um, can we cut the flower from the DSP to use if we don't have the stamp set? Absolutely. Absolutely. So what you're asking is, can you grab a flower from here? If you, cause the, cause it gets covered up. Oh, you know what? If you have the DSP or another DSP that has a flower, absolutely. I wouldn't cut it from this layer because you'll be able to see that it's missing from behind here. So I wouldn't cut it from that, but yes, absolutely. This is another layer. Okay, I notice sometimes my trimmer starts to catch and it might cut things a little bit crooked if that ever happens, you guys. It's not like the end of the world. No crying over spilt milk. Just take your trimmers. You can always straighten it out, cut it off a little bit, and you're back in business. You could also trim. Like, you're going to look at these and make sure that they're good. I know in class last night a couple people pulled out my trimmer here and kind of touched up edges a little bit. You guys, when you're cutting for 96 and you're cutting 96 of this, 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 and all of this, one or two pieces end up maybe not being as straight as you'd want them to and you don't catch it. So that's where it's on you guys to help me, you know, fix it up a little. All these, there's three more layers here that are all scored for you, ready to go. And you have a white piece, which is for your back, right? All right, so that's that. And that gets stamped, so we'll set that over there. And then you have a base. It's all about the base, no trouble. <laughs> um, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna get assembly happy, you guys. There's no reason why we can't get assembly happy, and then we'll work on the stamping and other stuff afterwards. All right, what I told people to do in class last night was get glue happy. We're gonna glue our different mats together so this Fragrant Flowers DSP, just to show you guys this, it is gorgeous. We looked at this earlier tonight. Look how pretty that is. That just makes me go, ooh, Google Gaga for paper. <laughs> oh, uh, Patricia, I, I, I do. I, I certainly do. <clears throat> yes, last week, I don't know how much time I spent cutting for this card alone, but I... At the end, I'm like, yep, you do it because you love it. <laughs> oh, so I hope you guys really enjoy putting this card together, how easy it is without having to think about it. All right, we're going to get glue happy, you guys. A little bit of glue on the back side of each of your designer series paper. Let's do that first on those four pieces, and let's get them glued together. Check them out first just to make sure that they were good, right? Not that you put glue on, you put it down, and it's like, oh, man, I wish I'd have it a little bit shorter. 
Yet, Suzanne, I mentioned that already, that Fitting Florets is not tonight. If you go to, so I'm going to show you, Suzanne, how you can double check. And this might be good for everybody, um, especially if you're newer to me. I know Suzanne just started watching me in the last couple months. Um, I'm going to show you guys a way to figure things out on your own. I noticed here too, I'm gluing this. I'm going to trim up that side just a hair. It'll help. If you guys are ever wondering about a class, uh, oh my gosh, is there a class tonight or isn't there a class tonight? Does she have a live class? I want to call her. I wonder if she's in class. I had somebody, Mary Lem, I think it was Mary Lemke that she looked on my calendar first to see if I had class. So Suzanne, if you're watching here, make sure you like look at the screen right now. If you go to my Stampin' Up, not Stampin' Up, my cardsbychrisby.com, go to my calendar. I have something called events and all you have to do is click on events and if you go to what tonight is January 5th, Spring Mini Catalog Launch Party and Celebration. So that'll tell you right here that's the class for tonight. If you click on tomorrow, you'll see it's Fitting Florets. So Fitting Florets is tomorrow at 10. And my times are always Central Standard Time. So if anybody's new to me and you're not sure, I do have a calendar. Look at this calendar. That is January. Every time you see a little gray uh, square, there's a class. Um, and you can click on anything. You're not going to break it, but I challenge you to go out there and look at it. Um, so Suzanne, nope, there's no fitting florets tonight. Fitting florets is definitely on the docket for tomorrow, and it's now committed to my memory for certain. <laughs> All right, you guys, I was going to trim off just a little bit. That little bottom corner needed a good, ha a little hair job, um, hairdo, hair, get it hair, it get its hair did. All right, set these off to the side, you guys. We don't need them at the moment. We're going to keep working on gluing, but gluing something else now. So you have this black mat and it's scored at five and a half. So let's grab our bone folder and burnish that. And then it's scored at two inches. So it's at five and a half, two, and it's actually nine and a half. This one actually folds back though, you guys. So fold that back, burnish your edge. All right, that's good. Um, Suzanne, I don't, I, I, I can't remember when your Kellogg launch party got mailed. I could have sworn it got mailed with your Fitting Florets class last week, maybe. Um, so we're going to do glue on this one and grab your biggest piece right here. Uh, Suzanne, if you want to follow up with an email, that would be awesome. Um, I can't look right now to see when's what was mailed, but I'm pretty sure um, that your Fitting Florets was mailed with your launch party. I could have sworn it was. Um, this just gets glued right on the flap right here like that. And then your designer series paper. Look at it. See if you can figure out if there's a top and a bottom. Honestly, some flowers are going this way. Some are going this way. Some are going that way. And most of it gets covered up anyways. So I don't know if you need to pay that close of attention. Just know that it goes right on the inside of the black panel like this. All right. So far, so good, right, everybody? Now, this is where you think it's going to get complicated, but it really is not that complicated. You have three pieces here. The measurements, if you're looking for them, they're in the PDF tutorial I sent. For those that didn't get this class with me, like if you didn't pay for it or didn't get it for free and you are interested, I will have this PDF tutorial for sale in my online store. Probably starting tomorrow, I have to just download the video links, add it to the tutorial, upload it to the website, and then I'll send you a thank you email. And then just know once that thank you email is sent, that's when you can go out there and look for it. And again, if you don't get emails from me, go to my website and sign up so you get emails. That would be awesome. Um, oh, Sherry Stewart, that's a good point. Sherry Stewart said that um, there's, a, so everybody who got fitting florets got a half a pack of envelopes. And they, um, so Sh Sherry Stewart said that it's possible, uh, Suzanne, that you thought that the, um, the Kellogg launch party class was a set of envelopes, but all I'm doing, you guys, is I'm taking and I'm burnishing on all the score lines, okay? Just like that. So burnish them, and they're all kind of curving into each other, right? They're not going each other every other way. They're all making like, it's not a box, right? But they would make a box, like they could make a square. We need the tear and tape again. So grab your tear and tape, and there's a half-inch panel here. There's a half inch panel here, and then it's the half inch panel that has another half inch next to it. All right, so that's where we're gonna be putting tear and tape, everybody. 
All right, so we're gonna be putting tear and tape here, here, and here. Don't worry if you go over the edge because we can always roll that back. I'm getting to the end of the roll of my tear and tape. <laughs> we're gonna have enough though, I think. All right, then one is gonna go here. So we're prepping these three pieces with tear and tape and you can pick all three of them off, no problem. And then if any one of them went over the edge, just roll it back. We don't need these two at the moment. What we're gonna do is work with the biggest piece first. Burnishing really helps this card work, absolutely. You definitely need to burnish it. All right, grab your liquid glue and we're gonna put liquid glue on that panel, that panel, and that panel. All right, so I've got it prepped and ready to go. All you have to do is fold it. It's not gonna be in half because one side's shorter than the other, but it's kind of like in half. And you've got the tear and tape over here on the back side, and you've got your liquid glue here. Take this card base and you're gonna set I'm holding it with my hand here, and I'm gonna kind of wedge the um, this left edge to the inside of the fold, making sure I'm centered top to bottom. And as I set this down, I'm just gonna put it flat. All right, that, so, so you wanna make sure that you let that adhesive bond paper to paper so that it doesn't um, wanna come apart. The finger, like the heat from your fingers helps. So there's that. Now you're gonna grab this one. It's like folding it in half, tear and tapes on the back side, liquid glue on the front, centered top to bottom, and you're going to put it kind of wedged right into where it is, and then just lay it flat. Now I didn't glue these on yet for a purpose, and I'll talk about that when we get there. And now the last one. Fold it, it's not in half now because, but it's kind of like you're folding this edge over, you've got your liquid glue ready here, kind of centered top to bottom, kind of wedge it into the corner without going underneath it, and you just kind of set it right into it. <laughs> you guys, that's it. Like, <laughs> it was so easy. I made 10 of these as swap cards and we had them put together from like start to finish in like an hour. It really wasn't crazy. And the reason I didn't glue these on yet is because it, had you glued them on, you might've centered them differently. But now that the card is assembled to that point, we're gonna put liquid glue on the backs of these. And now you have the ability to have this shut, sneak this in here, and you can center it now, like top, bottom, and then the right. So it's kind of equal on all sides. You can do the same thing here, kind of just sneak it in. Um, I, I'm eyeballing it with it as it's shut versus open because mostly when you open it up, it's gonna be flat and you want it to look really cool. And then this last little guy, was right there. Now with the glue, you have time to wiggle this around a little bit. All right, that's what it looks like finished, like folded, okay? Cool, and that's what it looks like open. It took us like a minute, you guys, really to kind of layer that together. That's the meat and the potatoes of that. Everything else after here is kind of like decorating. Um, we have here a flower. I've already, by the magic of TV, got mine stamped and die cut out, <laughs> unlike the barn. Um, I had a scrap here that could be used. That's where you guys could use your memento ink, stamp it, and then you can use the die to cut it out if you like. I'm not gonna do it because I have this one and it's extra. Uh, the little label here, you could grab your, if you're using this stamp set, if you use photopolymer, definitely put the mat. We're gonna do hello, you called. Is anybody home? Adele is wondering. Ink up that. And I'm gonna stamp it closer to the right side. That. And I think that's, oh, that's it. Oh, wait, there's the other side. This piece. We're gonna put a flower. Ah, we gotta get the flower stamped dirty anyways. We're gonna stamp a flower. Now, if you have a sentiment you want to stamp on the back, you could definitely stamp your sentiment. And then this is going to go in the bottom corner. 
Let that ink marinade like that. All right, put these guys back here. If you want to color the back, you definitely can. Uh, I'm gonna definitely color that one. Colors, soft succulent, evening evergreen, fresh freesia. If you've got the coral one, coral. You could definitely use coral to color your flower. I'm gonna grab the dark soft succulent. Hi, Karen Wettstein. Yeah, this one's a beauty, you guys. <laughs> You're gonna have a hard time giving this one away. If you have the dark and the light, you could definitely do some two-tone coloring with this blend, but there's enough variation and definition with the black ink, with the veins and stuff that you really don't have to. And look at us, we're gonna color the inside one too. Why not? Oh man, I was just thinking class at 10 o'clock. Wait till I tell my mom that. <laughs> I thought, wow, I have nothing on the calendar tomorrow. How is that possible that I actually can do birthday cards and do, and do this and then do this and then get this done? <laughs> and I was like, oh, I've got class. All good, you guys. Just saying, wow. Okay, Fresh Freesia is next. Um, love the purple fun fly. It is so pretty. I definitely agree. Oh, I'm in love with this card. And... Yes, it helps that it's purple, but the coral one is just as pretty. I would have to say in class last night, people could pick which color they want, uh, and half purple and half went to the coral. There's that, and we're going to do this one. You guys, if you had, so this is light, fresh, fresh freesia. If you had the dark, you could definitely do it darker in the middle, and then do some blending action <clears throat> to go darker to lighter. I definitely <clears throat> use the brush tip on this. It just colors so much nicer. And just go nice, light, wispy, like brush strokes. Just like that. All right. Now you get to feel like a florist. Well, first we'll Stella our leaves. It's important to get them Stella'd. Get a little glimmer on them. Got to have a little Stella on these leaves to bedazzle it. <laughs> Linda Hall said this is the reason she signed up for this class. Awesome. And I, how was it putting your card together, Linda? I, you said you put this class together already, I think, a few days ago. Did it go okay? <laughs> Hopefully it did. All right. We're going to do glue here and tear and tape on this. So on the back side of this label... You're gonna to wanna to put some tear and tape right along that back edge there. And if you go over, don't hesitate to roll that back. And then this is gonna get us adhered right on the card front like that. Hi, Glenda Morgan, this card, you love this card and fun full. What is the organizer holding your liquid glue? That's a caddy. I sell these caddies actually. It's called a Be Creative Caddy. So it's got all my necessities for my card surgeries that I do. I've got my mini glue dots, my adhesive eraser, my ink eraser, my pick tool, my bone folder, my ruler, my tweezers, I've got tear and tape, my dimensionals, Stella, my three scissors, and my, oh, you guys can even see it, and my liquid glue because I have my hand over everything. But yep, that's what I got. So I do sell them. If you want one or you're interested in them, just text me here or send me an email and I can help Get one in your hands. They are $25 plus shipping. This is gonna get a little liquid glue and we're gonna put that right on the back side here. And there, Deb said that both the cards are beautiful. The colors are so rich. Yes, I would definitely agree. All right, that is back here. You guys, it's coming together. Let's do our florist now. You're gonna need some tear and tape. Yeah, so Patricia Thomas, I mailed your catalog launch party with your fitting florets at the same time. And you said that you didn't realize that your card pieces were in the envelopes and you were shipped together. With, yep, so I did. I tried to consolidate shipping, if I could, for some of you guys that got both those classes at the same time. Tear and tape on the back. And we're going to start with a little loop. And make that loop. 
catch the tear and tape and bring back your tail like that. And then you're gonna grab tear and tape and put it right over the top of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Carissa says she's got two caddies, one in her craft table or on her craft table and one stays in her to-go bag. So she's got, in essence, she doesn't have to take from where she normally works and then move it with her as she goes and stamps other places. Makes it so easy. This little guy, we're putting tear and tape at the top. We're gonna, so the benefit of me having the sample card is I can do this. And like, okay, that's gonna go here. <laughs> and then I've got a leaf back over here. And I'm not gonna press very hard in case I need to finagle anything. And then that leaf goes right there. And then let's just see, before we press it down, good, we're gonna just see how that looks. Oh my gosh, you guys, that to me is awesome. I'm going to, Barb loves the caddy. Yeah, the caddy's awesome. You guys, I think I think that a whole bunch of those caddies have gone out of here in the last year and a half. I'm gonna put a little more tear and tape right over the top so that stuff doesn't wanna come loose. And grab a couple dimensionals. We're gonna pop this up. I think I'm gonna pick that off and put another dimensional right there. And one more, <laughs> you guys, four big dimensionals back here, wow. Okay, we're gonna pop this up. Oh, Betty likes the caddy as well. Good, good. This is going to go right over the edge of that white label. And you can grab your ribbon scissors and trim your tail. Oh, you guys are so awesome. All the people shouting out that they love their caddies. So let's show you. The tear and tape goes there. And then you can fit up to four sheets of dimensionals right there. And then your baby skinny terry tape has to go next to it. <laughs> and then there's room for a purple pen, you guys, too. Look, there's, that's where my purple pen goes, right there. Okay. Then we have milky dots in there. If you guys got the coral card, you got milky dots that are more white, like this, that have, like, this orange in them. And if you got purple, you got the milky dots that are purple-ish. And I'm seeing that I don't, I have to open up another one. Oh, they're right here. Nope, those are the orange ones. I have to open up another one. You got a big one and two smalls or like two smalls and a big. Um, we're just going to put one over here. I'm going to go open up another pack at some point, but I'm going to put one down there and then there's a third one. Just so you guys know, there's two, a big and a small here and then you either got another big and a small to put over there. Those guys go fast. Oh my gosh, I'm saving these gold ones for something and then the blue cards will be for a different card. The blue dots will be for a different card. And let's see, that's extra. Uh, we stell at the leaves. I don't know if we need to stell. If you guys want to stell more, you could definitely um, always stella the designer series paper right here. You could stella Ella Ella all of that. Just get a little bit of bedazzly going. All right, we did it. We got that one made. That's the fourth card, you guys. So you've got either orange, coral, or purple. You've got your easily card. You got an owl that's in either coral or coastal cabana. And you got a barn card in one of these colors. These are my launch cards, you guys. That's what we got. So many beautiful cards, you guys. Now, my million-dollar question that I have for you guys is always, what is your favorite? <laughs> and last night, like, the unanimous response was, we love them all. <laughs> uh, so that's always a good answer, too. Oh, yeah. So I think if I had to pick, oh, you guys, I'm so torn between these two. Oh, my goodness. You guys, I love my purple. Now, Carissa loves her blue, so she would pick anything blue. <laughs> all right. Woo-hoo, you guys. Oh, is it 8.30 already? Wow. Okay. Well, we have fun folds. I have to say that the first time I did a fun folds class via a live like this was the summer of 2020. I thought you guys were going to probably think I was going to say summer of 69. No, summer of 2020. It took me three and a half hours to make four cards with you guys. Oh, you can probably go back and find that video if you look. I think it was June of 2020. All I remember is I had to go to the bathroom so bad. Like by the time I was ready, I'm like, I had to go pee so bad. And I made it through it and it was all good. But wow, I, I, those were amazing cards, but they took a long time to get through. 
these were not so crazy. I honestly think that, I hope that you guys didn't think they were crazy. I didn't think they were that crazy once you see how to make them. Bobby, I knew she was going to say that her favorite was the purplicious one like this. This guy right here. I knew that. That one, I thought of you. When you were watching Bobby, I thought, wow, this card's right up your alley. <laughs> All right. So, whew, you guys, that's what we've got. There's going to be four lucky winners for those four cards when the time comes. I know that anybody's going to be happy with them. <laughs> All right. We are going to do a drawing. So, oh man, you guys are going to have to appease me for a second here. I did not write down numbers for people for placing orders. And I have to do that really quick. So the door prize drawing is for people who place orders to get this class for free. Because I always have some extra retired product here that I love to get rid of. Not really, but I mean, I love to help get it in other people's hands so it gets another life. So if you placed an order, I'm putting a number next to you. So, and Mary, you placed two orders to get two classes for free. So you're going to get to be number one and number two. Yay. All right. Uh, Vicky Rodriguez, you're going to be number three. And uh, Carmen Sanders, you're number four. You're watching. Tammy Steckling, you're five. Uh, Lynn Beasley, you're six. Francis, you're number seven. Carmen Melendez, you're number eight. Um, Bev Smith, you're nine. Shirley Peacock, you're 10. Amy, you're number 11. You know, you'd think I'd have more Amy, but I think you're the only Amy I have. You're number 11. Karen Stagg, you're number 12. Um, Debbie Buzzy at Work Schultz, you're number 13. Carolyn Ketchmark, you're 14. And I think that's it. So we will do the number generator. I'll pop my camera down here so you guys can see. We'll go to the Chrome and we'll pull up the World Wide Web and search for the random number generator. I think I said 14. So we'll put in 14. We'll click the word generate. Nine. See who number nine is? Number nine is Beverly Smith. Oh, she's lucky duck. Okay, congratulations to Beverly. Uh, I know last month, she, or the month before, she had won a stamp set. So very good job, Beverly. Um, I will have a prize for you. Um, the other thing, we're going to flip the camera down. I have cards to share with you winners. Uh, and a reminder, if you're joining me late, I did mention um, I have to pull the monthly Creative Challenge, Class Card Challenge, Top Fan, and the Bingo. You guys, your bingo boards were due in by December 31st. I Oh, hi, Deanna Stell. Um, that will all be another time. We're already at two and a half hours, you guys. So we'll do another live. I have... Um, I will be doing something special next week. We have all the guessing games, right? So I told everybody that you guys have until tomorrow night, and then Kelly will be pulling the winners for me over the weekend. If you want to guess any more on any of the 14 different questions I had, you have until tomorrow night uh, before Kelly goes to bed, or basically until Kelly works on it on Saturday morning. Um, and then I don't know when I'm going to do it, but there's going to be a special Facebook, uh, Facebook, YouTube live where we go over all the answers and talk about stuff and it's going to be fun. And, uh, that's when I'll do the other drawings for the top fan and I'll do it all together in one separate video, I think, instead of doing it right now. Okay. How's that sound? I hope that sounds good. <laughs> sounds good to me. All right. So we have here, let me show you what cards we have. I finally got around to pulling the names for these guys, um, these cards. I had, oh, if you guys remember, this was December 8th, if I'm not mistaken. It was He's the Man card class. That was the sweet class for the month of December. So I've got these four cards. If you missed watching the video, you can definitely um, go catch it. It's always available. Drum roll. Brrr, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Maria Gilbertson. You're the lucky duck winner of our little pocket card. I didn't glue this in so you can figure out if you want Happy Father's Day or have a birthday. You can do whatever you want. So congratulations to Maria. The ta-da winner winner chicken dinner is Lori Baxter. You got the camping card. That's my Tyler-esque card. The ta-da. The next one goes to Mary Schreiber. Yay, Mary. Congratulations. 
And then last but certainly not least, for the He's the Man class, I have a winner, winner chicken dinner is Tina Meadows. So Tina and Beverly, not Beverly, uh, Mary, if you could send me your addresses, that would be awesome. Uh, I know that I for surely have Lori's and Maria, um, but I would love for yours. All right, so those are those cards. And congratulations to all those winner, winner chicken dinners. Then we had the Let's Just Stamp from December, you guys. It was the week later. Oh, it's so pretty. I just love this card a lot. Like if I could wake up and see this card first thing, I would make me so happy. <laughs> oh, it's a little book card. It's so amazing. I just go Google Gaga over something like this one. All right, winner, winner, chicken dinner, drum roll. Brrr, Yvonne Cooper. All right, Yvonne, if you want this card, I need your address. Da, 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 da. This one, a little fold that opens up like this. Happy birthday goes to Carissa Alberts. Girl, your name was pulled. Yay! I got that one for you. And da, da, da. This one also opens up fun like this, you guys. Like a little gate fold. Winner, winner, chicken dinner on this one is Anita Myers. So, Anita and Yvonne Cooper addresses please if you want your cards uh you can email me here and let me know what your address is so I know where to send them Carissa I will be seeing you on Saturday so I might hand deliver it to you or you might get happy mail <laughs> I don't know it depends if I have it done or not but just to give you guys a little update I have a tote it's that green tote right there you can see it mm, there there's a green tote it's full of cards. I got kind of backed up again with everything. And so I have about 20 cards, you guys, from the beginning of sometime in November on that if you have gotten a prize or um, a card for me, I still owe it to you. Like Sherry Pyre reached out to me. Yep, I got your card here. I, I It's just, it's um, to sit down and write out cards is not always the easiest thing to do, you guys, especially when paper needs to get cut and stuff needs to get mailed for classes. And so that kind of stuff happens, but it doesn't always happen instantaneously. Uh, so yay, <laughs> you love this card. Wonderful. Aren't you happy that you didn't win the purple one? <laughs> yeah, I thought about like, no, she would want blue. <laughs> uh, so, um, cards come, you guys, they just don't always come instantaneously. Um, I do know that you have cards coming and just so you know, just be patient and I, I'm always patient with you. Um, your cards will come if you won them. Um, I, the, uh, writing the post too, for the congratulations, to the winners, I might've missed one or two somewhere between here and the last month. Uh, if it just always depends on if Tyler's here when I get done with class or not, then I run in and sometimes it doesn't always catch my mind if I did it or not, but generally I've been pretty good, but just, you know, I, I don't always remember to do everything all the time. You guys, I am human. <laughs> all right. You might think I'm not, but I am human. <laughs> all right. That's what I have for you guys tonight for our catalog launch party fun folds class. Um, I hope you enjoyed the cards. I just, I, it was so much fun making them. I have one more class on Saturday morning. It starts at 10 o'clock. So if you're local to me and you're interested, I still have kits available. If you are online customer and you need the kits mailed, I probably have like between 10 and 12 sets of cards left, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So if you're seeing this video in the near future, like know that um, it's most likely you could reach out and still get this class for free with an order or you could pay for it, whatever you want. Um, oh, yes, Cindy Rontree. Yeah, see, I had it in my head about 10 minutes ago and I already forgot. So, yes. Hi. I hear knocking. I hear knocking. I don't know who it is. But, you guys, I'm going to disconnect here. If I won the purple one, I would send it to you since you love it so much. Ah, I think that's funny, Chris. All right, you guys, we're going to do this. I heard knocking. I don't know who it was, but... Okay, you can still see me, so hang on. Let me, like this. I don't know who's knocking at the door, you guys, but we're going to go see. Okay, so shut your eyes. I'm moving really fast because um, I can't. Look at this. Oh, this is so busy in here. Let me just see. Hello? Nope, nobody there. Hang on. Oh, I see a car. I don't know who it is. Okay, so, all right, <laughs> you guys, if you've ever seen this before, this is the hive. <laughs> It's really busy. Okay, lots of stuff going on. So shut your eyes as I walk if you get like dizzy, dizzy, bouncy, bouncy. Um, all right, so see, this is where I have like my class on Saturday. These are all the kits ready to go. And so I planned for all those for in-person, but what I do is I kit those up for online if I 
Don't do all of them in person. Oh, there's my toolbox, you guys. That's what my hot mess of a toolbox looks like. Okay, so this is where I'm going to flip the camera all the way to the right here. So shut your eyes. I'm going to go kind of fast. Um, this is what my mom left. She has all this kind of laid out, and she puts these all out here. So this is one of the cards we're doing for the escape. Uh, right there. That's the card. And what she's doing is laying out the pieces, right? So that's what she's got going that way. It fills up the whole counter. Now, this is what we worked on between yesterday. This was all for yesterday. So these are three of the four of the cards here. So there's that thinking of you card. So there's 100 card kits there. There's this card, 100 card kits. This is the ice cream card. And I wonder if it, nope, the ice cream card's over on the other side, but there's that one. This is um, also for the monthly class. And then here's the barn card. <clears throat> so it's a 400 card kits right there, you guys. Um, so this is what Christy Duranke's been helping me with, your pillow gift. Not pillow gift, like an attendance gift, right? So spoiler alert, if you don't want to see this, don't look. Shut your eyes. Like I, it's hard to do this through the camera. But she's made up all of these little guys for me. So this is one of the little gifts. Okay, so that's one. There's, um, so I'm going to, you guys, shut your eyes. I'm going to go around. Hi, it's Barb Collins. All right, well, I'm almost done with this. Give me a second, okay? okay? All right, so this is the rest of the countertop, you guys. Look how much stuff is there. So that's 100 card kits laid out on the counter. And then over here, she's got more. So this is another card right here. That's 100 card kits. She just got that one done today. And then we worked on... Um, this is Let's Just Stamp. So I pulled the cards to show them to you earlier, but this is the first card, second card, third card. So there's 44 sets there. And then she helped me with the monthly. And Anna was here yesterday helping too. So this is the monthly class. Oh, here, this guy. That's one card. So we made up 60 kits of that one. There's, oh, I can't see through here. There's 60 of this one, the ice cream cone. And then there's 60 well, of the barn card. Oh, here it is. Barn card. All right. So that was what was over there with 100. Now, this is the monthly class to go, and then these are all the kits for the in-person. Oh, you guys, it's so hard to, like, hold this. So, these are the in-person. And then, <laughs> one second more. Here's another one. So, this is another monthly class card. Oh, sorry. Winner's a Creative Escape. So, there's 100 there. And then, oh, all my lovely bees helped me this today. These are all the calendar cards, you guys. Look at them. They're all ready to go. So, that's all made. And I'm going to show you... The sneaky peek. I have not shared this with anybody besides Tyler, but everybody gets a little attendance gift. Oh my gosh, you guys are gonna love it. Because you guys are gonna go ham. So shut your eyes if you don't wanna be spoiled. But this is what Tyler picked out for everybody's attendance gift. It is hard to do it one-handed. <laughs> oh my God, you guys. Okay, so it is a little light. So maybe Barb will come here and help me. So it's a lantern for camping or for if the lights go out. All right, pull on the top here. Okay, you got to do it. You need two hands, so pull it apart. Okay, <laughs> is it cool? Okay, do it again. Push it back down. There, and then pull it back up because I wasn't in the camera. That's that, you guys. That's the attendance gift, and I had the Stampin' Up logo put on it. Isn't that cool? Oh, I'm so excited. Tyler's like... Yes, you can thank him for a practical, awesome use of a, like a gift. Um, I was going for an umbrella. And he's like, nobody wants umbrellas anymore. Nobody uses umbrellas. He's like, everybody needs a light in their car or their house. So that's what I had made up, you guys. Amazing stuff. Yay. Isn't it cool light? <laughs> Cindy says I don't sleep. All right. Whew. Okay. So let me flip that back around. Okay. Okay. That is the attendance gift. So again, I'm trying to figure out how do I hold this thing. It's so crooked. Um, let's put it right back here. Okay, let's get it set. Um, all right. I saved a lantern for myself. <laughs> Tyler gets one. And he wants me to give my mom one. And then they're all being, I bought 100 of them, you guys. And so 96 of them are going for the escape. And there's 91 people signed up. That means there's five spots left. Um, and that's just a sampling of what you get. I mean, there's a lot that goes into it. So awesome. Deb Norman said, Tyler has some great gift ideas. He already has something picked out for you guys for the next escape too in, in autumn. He was just like, nobody wants an umbrella. Nobody needs umbrellas. Nobody uses umbrellas anymore. He's like, you want to give the girls a practical gift. So 
that's how we ended up with that. <laughs> so I hope you guys like it. Um, awesome. All right, you guys. Oh, Carissa says, um, hi, Barb. Hi, ladies. <laughs> there we go. That was frozen. Okay. And she says hi back, everybody. So yay. Oh, okay. Melanie, Foy. everybody says good job, Tyler. Yay. <laughs> Chris is like, oh my God, awesome. Yeah. So you guys are going to love it. It is like the lightest little lantern ever. If you want to keep it in your house, you want to keep it in your car, you want to keep it in your stamping room. Like if the lights go out, if you go camp, it's just, it's going to be a very versatile product. So yay. All right, you guys, I think that's it. I'm going to let you go and we'll be back here at 10 o'clock for the fitting florets class. Lots of sunshine love and hugs to you guys. Get a good night's sleep and be rested for tomorrow. <laughs> All right, you guys. <laughs> love you long time. Bye.